Yo, normally we play Dungeons and Dragons in Vietnamese, but not today. Once in a few moon, we feel fancy and play one in English. You could join us in playing D&D on our Discord server, Funky Dungeon Master. And without further ado, this is Sea of the Dead. Let's start by introducing the two characters we have today. We have Kieron. Go ahead and introduce Kieron, Barry. Hey, hey guys. So, um, I'm Barry and this is Kieron. He's a furball, uh, who is a, uh, who is a very friendly guy, outgoing, but he is not from the material plane. Therefore, he can be sometimes a little bit of an outcast. He's, he, have, he didn't understand the cultures of the human, of the people in, in this realm, so he can be a little bit weird sometimes. Uh, he is a fire druid, a wild fire druid, and his companions is a little uh, fire spirit. And yeah, backstory wise, he was originated, originated from the Feywild, but since um, he accidentally dropped to the portal into the material plane, now this poor guy is trying to find his way back home. So yeah, that is Kieran. He's a friendly guy. Mm. We are but friendly. And then we have Quincy. Yeah. Okay, so Quincy Nimblefeet is a halfling uh, who has lived his life, most of his life, as a farmer on his family's, uh, let's say, apple ranch. I mean, the work is easy enough. His life is peaceful, but he doesn't want peace. I mean, he does want peace, but he wants something more. He wants a little bit of, you know, money, fame, treasure, um, maybe even very mythical legendary items so that's why he is uh a rogue a thief subclass um that doesn't necessarily mean he's a thief he's a bounty hunter a treasure hunter and most importantly he's an explorer right? he wants to see new things and he wants to take those things with him and that's quincy nimble feet right so these two characters kieran and quincy how are they traveling together What's their relationship? What's their goal? Uh, so this, this is gonna be a... We're gonna brainstorm this together. Sure thing. Right. So, uh, maybe Verbo is a weird guy who didn't understand properly. So he just... One day he just appeared out of nowhere into the, this guy farm and start taking all the, the, uh, the, 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 the vegetable, the crops that he's harvesting and like, Oh my god, this is the best I've ever seen in my entire life. Let's eat the whole thing. <laughs> The whole cross <laughs> and then this guy found out about me and he's trying to give me death threats and then trying to kill me or something and now so why are we together uh do you remember uh quincy why are we together again except for the fact that i'm very charming quincy uh, quincy remembers that you can use magic and you know in his entire life as a halfling farmer it was uh, you appearing on the farm is one of the most incredible thing he's ever seen and he sees that he saw that i mean as a sign as a signal from you know from someone from creation itself telling quincy to pick up those feet and and go out there and do what you want to do right you're not going to spend your entire life on this farm right you can get apples anywhere uh, somewhere else not here right you're supposed to be something much greater than what you are right now right so i'm gonna so so Quincy asked um, Kieran, right, to come with him, right, to pay for all this debt, hmm? because um, magic right. so is something valuable. Yeah. <laughs> right. so what do you think about that? So you think yeah. there's you one can... big thing about Kieran uh, background is he's from the Feywild. He's lost yeah. in the material world and trying to find a way back. So that could tie yeah. into something that uh, uh, Quincy kind of wanderlessness. So by chance they meet each other and. Quincy sees that, he's like, ah, oh, you want to go find a way to go back to your plane. And I want to go to a lot of places. How about we do that together? Okay. Also, Kieran has oh, some kind to... of debt to play to Quincy or something. Yeah. Because Kieran sorry, accidentally grabbed some cabbage. Belong to someone. What was that? <laughs> I, did, I didn't know those cabbages belonged just as someone. I just, I just very hungry one day. And it's, sorry, Quincy. I'll, I'll try to pay you back. But how about you go to the Wild with me? This will be fun. This will be a magical play. You know, see thing happen. Uh, it could be, a, it could be a vacation. Want to go, Quincy? Maybe 
right? But I wanna, I'm gonna need time. Quincy is gonna need time to to ponder that thought. But first, let's actually try to find a way to get Kieran back to where he belongs. That sounds offensive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should get back, go go back to where I come from. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, 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 go back to your home. This is what I mean. Back to where you belong. Know your place. <laughs> what? That's what you mean, right? All right. <laughs> imagine, I'm imagine Quincy being get out of my property. Y'all getting out of my property. Go right. back to where you belong, you whippersnapper. Hmm. So I'm gonna say for this one shot, Quincy knows a guy that knows a thing or two about sea traveling. And the place mm. that Kiron needs to get to is from another continent across the sea. So that's why Quincy makes the connection. Quincy arranges a meeting with this guy. His name is Jack Spartan. And in exchange for that, Jack asks Kiron and Quincy seems able enough uh, with magic, with uh, skills, tools, and especially somewhat deadly. He knows to help him and his crew on his voyage he says hold on let me find his token real quick there that's jack he says okay that's definitely jack yeah that's jack oh, that is. spartan he's from sparta i don't know guys you know how dangerous uh traveling along the sea can be but no matter if you guys gotta help me with protecting the crew, protecting the ship, the Red Pearl ship, one of my babies, I'm gonna let you hang on to the ship and go to the far continent for free. How does that sound? Okay, do you have like any cabbages? Deal. Yeah. Now, I have to caution you though. On the way from here to there, from A to B and all that jazz, we're gonna go across some treasure place, you know? Because that's, that's our course. That's our we're gonna go there it's a little bit going off course but as far as i know i'm your best captain i'm gonna take you there eventually eventually but we're gonna get there rich you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying yeah oh my god quincy let's go there oh my god rich i want to be rich what, what is rich what is oh oh, oh let, let me tell you being rich means your travel will be a lot easier because you know oh, all oh. the the things that people ask you know, the um, people is gonna ask you for money to go from here to there all that you need money to pay for your food for the place to stay i assume you have to pay for the the tavern you're staying tonight i'm gonna call for that don't oh. worry that is what rich brings you in this world right he's from another world right quincy right right yeah yeah you hear me you hear me boys so yeah. what you're saying is that I can have more cabbages and I can go back home. Yes, yes, that what that's what being oh rich yeah, is. It's like that. having it's like let's having a that. lot of cabbages. Yeah. Oh this God, guy gets the rich. point. This guy gets the point. I want to be rich. I want to kill someone to be rich. Where do we begin? Where do we begin? I'm so excited. Hmm. Someone's eager. Let's see. Let's yes. see. All right. So it's already night time for today. I think we go to the sea first thing in the morning tomorrow how does that sound gentlemen how does that sound and he raises a uh black beer cup in his hand ah uh, ah uh. thing is fine yes. and i just hold on to his cup like we're both holding his uh, cup because mm, I don't know he, he's gonna on. like slightly pull it back are you letting go or are you still holding on to it he's like no no mm. i'm gonna I'm hold it back uh, yeah yeah uh, hi oh uh, this is fun what, um this this, uh, this this is mine he's like uh, okay, you you okay, can okay. have that that cup over there. He points to the cup of water that the waiter just left there on the table. You can have that one. This one? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Now now chuck it. Like you mean it. Chuck it. Mm. Okay. Ah, oh, that's good stuff. Uh, yeah. He's learning. Is, oh my god. Is this water or is it like booze? It's divine water. Savor that taste. Mm, it's it holy water. water. Uh, oh, uh, I mean, it's cabbage water. Oh, okay. Oh, damn, because this cabbage tastes weird, but okay. Oh my yeah. god. Mm. Uh, well, right. whatever this is. That's your hope and dream. Right. Oh, Real quick, Quincy, how have you been doing, my friend? Any uh, the jobs coming uh, lately? How's the travel well, been? It's been it's been fine, I guess. But that's the problem. It's just it's fine. I don't want fine, right? I want something mm. better. I want I want good. I want great. I want the best the greater you know what i'm saying oh you know you know the best experience possible right yeah well here's the thing getting seasick is not the best experience possible but you get over that but 
watching the sunrise on the sea is pretty fucking romantic, I'm gonna tell ya. Mm. Also, See? You, 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 assumingly, assumingly the treasure that we're going to is not left unintended, we're gonna have something to do. Exciting things to do, you know? Well, I'm all about exciting things, so count me in. There we go. Alright lads, alright gentlemen, oh, whatever you want to be called, it's going a night. I'm gonna stay here in this tavern and wander around a bit more, don't worry about me, don't mind me. You can do whatever preparation you wish, or not, that's your business. Right. After saying that, Jack's right. gonna uh, kind of try to bow a noble way to you guys, but he's definitely have his own like, ring to the ring. Mm. And then he's gonna walk away with his black beer tankard. Have a good night, Jack. Oh, you know I do. You, I always do. Too, Jack. You too. So you two no. are left to your own device for whatever discussion or preparation you wish to do. Right. Mm. I want to ask if the, 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 the thing I've been drinking this whole time is this actually booze or just water? Because that can affect my talk. Is, is it booze or water? The, the drink that I've been drinking. Are you asking Quincy or the DM? No, the DM. The DM. Oh. Okay. Water. <laughs> Oh, water, oh, right. Because I'm, I thought it's gonna be drunk. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um. Actually, right. these things you guys can also talk among each other and just make shit up. I don't care. It's flavor. Oh, right. It's not really plot related. All right. Um. Um. Oh my God, Prince, that is that's a good guy. It's amazing. He's so friendly. How do you know him? How do you know well, him? Well, some bad trips, I guess. Found him drunk at a bar one time. Gone to a fight. Was drunk off his ass. He don't know what he's doing. He can't even hit guy can't even hit another drunk guy so i gotta go in and help him you know call in some other friends you know and then uh -huh. he talk it out but he's drunk oh. so he cannot talk so i have to do the talking <laughs> okay wait what wait, what's with uh people from this realm you got real like uh bar fight is that some sort of entertainment and i just to move this is anyone is, is anyone uh, dm is anyone around me there are is anyone... people there are people so I'm gonna say the very next table there seems to be some just uh, dock walking people just uh, hanging out after a walking day and there are many right. other tables too excuse me sir would you like to participate in a bar fight it's a bit will be divine what's this hey, Jason what's this guy's on about am I hearing this right uh, the, the other guy. dude no we, we just we just want to have a meal yeah you heard him Hey, get out of here, Sonny! Okay. No, no, everyone. Boring. Listen, Kieran. Uh -huh. A bar fight is like a tradition. It's fun. It's exciting. It's uh -huh. sometimes bloody. But it's not. It, it's not the main event. It's just it's just a bonus, you see? No, no. Uh -huh. it, it is the main event, but it comes later. In order to get into a bar fight, you got to get uh -huh. people drunk first. And by getting uh -huh. drunk, you, you drink. You drink this thing called alcohol but i would like to call it oh. the solution to everything right so you just right. order something and then mm -hmm. drink it and then order some more uh -huh. until right. just drink just drink oh. until you wake up the next morning without knowing anything that's it oh okay so it's, it's not about so, participating in a bar fight it's just getting into one. Uh, your body's gonna feel oh, the aftermath okay. the next day it's not fun but so you really, know you should try it sometime so really alcohol okay and I just pull a bunch of coin, like five gold coin I have, like in my back, like, bring for everyone! And I just throw it to everyone's face. Bring for you, everyone! You notice that the coin hit of some, hit some of the people's head, people's head, and then it's also going to some of the people's food. And they're like, what's this guy's deal? But some some people are like, all right, free gold. Hey! Another drain on the drain with this table, please! Uh, and, uh, all right. I got it. Yeah. Uh, well, so, uh, Some other people were cheering for that. Right? They just grabbed the gold and uh, asked the waiter to come over. And they look at I Kieran know. and give Kieran a quick nod or something. Yes, yes. I just did something. Yeah. Uh, In way, the midst of that, I want to ask you. you all hear a resounding slap. And my, when you look over my, to the direction of the slap, you see Jack doing a spin. Oh, oh, Jack. He's oh my back. god, look at him. Then he spins he back. Moves. He's facing a very fine, very fine and bossy woman. Um, 
wave one of his hand, just holding his face right now. And the other woman's like uh, kind of covering her chest and go over. And it seems that she was just uh, giving Jack a slap of his life. And Jack's like, oh, baby. Mm, mm. And you, I know you are a passionate one, but that is a little bit kinky, don't you? Don't you know? This woman's kind of, oh, I can't deal with this. There's a man, a big man, stand up from her table. And he's like, well, what's your deal, scum? And Jack's like, oh, hello. He's going to adjust the guy's uh, shirt a little bit and uh, kind of lick his hand, lick his finger, and then put some of the guy's hair into place because it was like down something. You know, you know, I was just having some a little bit of beauty, appreciation, you know? Yeah, yeah. And guy's like, put your fucking hands off me and shove, shove Jack no, over. Uh, shove Jack into a nearby table where a lot of people stand up and then... Jack's over the table's food. Hey, what's the fucking deal? This guy, this fucking guy, you ruined our dinner. Kieran and Quincy, would you like to do anything about that? It seems people are getting a little bit rowdy. You see, Kieran, doing something? It's your lucky day. This is what people call bar fight. And I just scream, bar fight, bar fight. Immediately after Kieran screams, uh, almost as uh, everyone shares the same wavelength everyone stands up and starts throwing shit at each other and jack Enjoy. stands back up and uh, goes into a brawl with the other guy mostly getting punched by the other guy yeah, what are you guys doing okay kieran now you have two choices you can either run or you can I, I just, participate I just, listen to him i just jump in and try and fight people using my water staff you're like bro fly me fight bro let me spear are you actually using fire spells? Uh, no, I, I, I'm second thought. That, that'll be a little bit extreme, you know. It's just using my father's just smack people's head. Uh. It's a pleasure to meet you! It's, uh, you like, have a pretty face. Uh. Not anymore. That's right. Ah! And some other guy. Oh, oh. <laughs> what's the fucking deal? I'm trying to fight this guy! And he's come back and use, use a tanker to clobber your face. And then he's going to go back ow, to his fight. Ow! ow. Hey, that's, that's pretty good. How about uh, this? <laughs> oh, you want some? You want some? You son of a bitch! And then there, one guy jumps over you and uh, he calls to two of his friends and also kind of jumps over you and uh, start uh, kicking you. <laughs> and I just point at... Uh, uh, um, oh my god, I forgot your name already. Um, point at uh, Quincy and I'm like, uh, don't forget that, that guy! Quincy, don't forget that guy. Oh yeah, good point. <laughs> Just stay here for a sec. Hey, use! Right, now so you want to do anything, uh, Quincy? I, I don't want to take over the whole thing. Okay, it's, there's no avoiding this, so I'm going to go for the, the big guy that is facing Jack. I'm going to go for him. I'm going to go and get a tankard. No, no, not a tankard. A bottle. A bottle. I'm going to sneak attack his, his head. Smash the bottle uh. on his head. You see, uh, before you come, he was just uh, shoving Jack around and, and give him a backhand a slap. And Jack's just like, oh, that was an ex unexpected one. And then he's kind of covers, uh, hide behind the table or something. And then this guy just takes the table away. But then Quincy, you come by with a bottle. I'm, I'm going to say right, gonna... this is a cinematic, so we don't really have to draw damage. And then he's like, yeah. uh, he's kind of bleeding from the side of his head, but se seems to be still standing. Uh, one of the the shard out of uh, the side of his head, and he roars. What the fuck? Who? He's gonna come over and try to look for you. What are you doing, Squin Quincy? You're like just staying there and Quincy, face him? Quincy, 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 Quincy. And then I'm gonna turn to Jack and say, Yo, Jack, gonna let that slide? You like you gonna let him push you around, huh? Where, where's the Jack that I know? Huh? Uh, on, put them, put them iron fists up and give him something. Oh yeah, yeah as, as if you have to ask. He's kind of holding his face and then uh, with his right hand, he's going to reach over to his belt where there's a whip and he's going to whip that out. <laughs> now, now there's a party. He's going to throw that over the big guy's uh, neck as he's turning over and he's like, try to pull it. <laughs> 
and nothing happens. He's standing still. Come on, come on. You're supposed to topple over. Okay. And this guy is just trying to look back and forth between Jack and Quincy. And then he continues to roll. Yeah. Jack's like, okay, okay, this is not working out. And he taps one of the guys, one of the two guys that are fighting each other nearby. Hey, hey, you, you want to help me hold this end of the whip and just pull it? And these guys are like, like, sure. Then three people start to pull on the whip and the guy, the big guy falls over. Uh, that's not fair. You motherfuckers. Quincy, you add, <laughs> want to add anything to the salt or add any salt to the wound? Hmm, let me see. Mm. Want my help? I can make you bigger. Wait, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, yeah. I can I can think of a few things, but they're not child friendly. Just do it. I'm There's just... no children there. Yeah. Just do it. Okay, yeah. just, I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna... I mean, they just uh, curse. Just... So child friendly, just out of the window. <laughs> what child friendly? I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna pour I'm gonna pour beer yeah. on his head and we'll see <gasps> how does it feel to be at the bottom now, huh, big guy. <laughs> That's the best I can think of. Sorry. Alright. Alright, now Kieran, make him large. Make him large? I was going to shoot fire so his beer so that the beer on his head just <laughs> but like okay, that is too much. Right. Um no, because like if you, you can said, you can I'm do bit... what you want, the world will react to you accordingly. No, I'm trying to be responsible. I also don't want to be gore. But um since uh I'm being pinned down by like a bunch of guys, right? Uh, okay, well, so just one at this point. Know? The other two guys got bored and tried to fight some less helpless people. Well, um, this doesn't matter. When you try to pin me down, you see my body starts to like just grow in size. I turn into like a large, like a very tall guy, totally oh. furball guy, and like I just use my portals up to like, try and powerhouse through the crowd. Everyone just flying across yeah. the room. One I don't swift. care if I hit Quills Quincy or not. Suddenly, I'm there seems to be a towering figure like that is Kieran and getting large and then just one swing of the quarter step from the very end people sends people flying across the bar <laughs> and we gonna cut to like the outside of the bar where lights just flickering flickering and the shadows figures like appears and disappear um, on the windows on the window screen and then abrupt cut morning and the face of both Kieran and Quincy sleeping on the ground somehow outside of the tavern <laughs> we got kicked out I'm just using Quivin as my pillow <laughs> to be on top of that let's just <clears throat> oh god mm. uh, top of the morning Quincy uh, Quincy where the fuck are we we are at the end of the bar fight how was your first bar fight oh my god time? oh my god it was amazing I love it I mean, did you see those, those guys flying? Ah, love it. Anyway, uh, should we be getting to get to a uh, chat? Is it late when you go or you want right, to get uh, Real quick, this is the DM asking the player out of character. Would you like for yeah. Zhuang to join you at this point? I can have him arrive late in the morning. Sure. Yeah, it's okay. The morning okay. area. Zhuang, if you're ready, go ahead and uh, unmute your mic and turn your camera. Get in the row 20 and be ready to play some D&D. &D. Hey, let's go. Use, use. And now it's not really. Use, come on. Come on, man. All right, man is uh, melting. There we go. All right. All right. Hi. 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 Hello. Morning, people. Morning. Just give me a sec to uh, roll 20 real quick. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to take a three, about three to four minutes break, a bio break real quick. And why yeah. Zone's getting his character ready. So that is his character. When I come back, Zun can introduce his character and we'll continue. Yay! Yay! Ooh! Hello everyone else in the chat. How are y'all doing today? Hi, hello. Hi. Hello. Morning, morning. Give me a sec. How is everyone doing today? How is Fish doing today? How is Juan? How is Moment doing today? Wait, it's mid morning, so how is everyone doing? <laughs> You talk like we're a critical role or some shit. Yeah, because <laughs> uh, in case you didn't know this, I'm a big fan of critical. I, I'm 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 a critical through and through. Even though I didn't watch like I haven't finished like a single campaign, but I am a critter through and through. Love that shit. Hey, Corvus. Hello. I I just realized he has a piano behind him. Do you guys ever heard, see him play that? Never. You don't want to see him. Uh, Let's a ask piano. Him. 
Ah, piano. Is that a piano? Okay. Uh, yeah, in, in, in background. Let I'm him check his body back. back. Maybe you should ask him to play when we're done. Maybe to play some sea sand when we're done. That would be fun. Maybe let him do a, a live stream playing the piano. Hey Val, just a quick question. Which class are you playing? Which class? Which class is your character? Um, yes, I'm playing druid. Oh, another druid! Oh, how delightful! Yes. I mean, sarcastic, but yes. <laughs> uh, no. It is fine. Uh, which, which subclass? I so, swear to God, if you get wildfires. <laughs> I mean, which subclass? This is like my very first game of Dungeon Dragon, so I. What, what is subclass? First game? Idea, what is subclass though? Yeah. Oh, like... shit. Shit. Uh, Nissan. Uh, just don't want that. Nissan. Can you help him with subclass? No, no, no. Anyway, um, so you, did, did you select your subclass? Are you leveling your character to one to three yet? Have you? Uh, your circle, your circle, yeah. Your circle. Uh, I got the uh, spore circle. Circle spore. Oh, mm. sh- oh shit. Yeah. Nice. I mean, it sounds cool, so yeah. I, I just like, I really don't know what it is, but it sounds cool to me, so I choose it. Yeah, so subclass basically. Um... The branches from your of your class, like druid, because many types of druid. My fire, yours right. is disgusting, but yeah. All right, all right, all right. Gotcha, gotcha. So that's our class. Thank you very much. All right. So you are rather new to D and D, right? I'm very new to D and D. This is my very first game. So yeah. All right. You, I've heard from right. Ne that you've been in the mock box game. So there's a little bit of role playing. Yeah, you're familiar with what a role playing game is supposed to be, right? Yeah, yeah. I kind of know my way around uh, the role playing games. Mm-hmm. Just like uh, it's not official D and D, but uh, yeah, I kind of know my way around that game. And have you been listening to the chaos that has been happening in this game so far? Like the, the how Na and uh, Barry role played? Yeah, I've been uh, I've been listening quite carefully. Uh, turns out it doesn't much different from Critical Role. I mean, I've been watching Critical Role. For oh, a while. so you do know uh, yeah. like the gist of role play. There we go. Yeah, it's just role playing. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. So there is since there's a new player in here, I will be like going uh, back to the basics a little bit more during the middle of play. Like for example, combat. Yeah. I will explain how things work, how skill checks work, how saving throw works. All right. Hmm. And just some. I'll just go over some little bit of etiquette of playing a role-playing game to Zoom real quick because I think that's important to know before going into the game. Yeah. The first thing is, it is a role-playing game, so role-play to your heart content. But second, yes. try not to step onto each other's toes while doing so, especially on Discord, uh, making sure that uh, we're not speaking over other people because it uh, c- could be a little bit hard to hear. Mm, and, uh, just Make sure to be as players, as players, the players that's playing the game. Be polite and respectful to other people. But as characters, uh, you could be a little bit impolite if that's what the character is about. Uh, try not to overdo it too much. Uh, the best best way to do it is just match everyone's enthusiasm and level of zaniness. Yeah. Yep. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. I okay. think that would be enough for now. Let's get back into the game. Okay. Zhang, go ahead and yes. introduce this character to everyone. Wow. So basically, this, this character is um, uh, he's a um, uh, he's a divine born, he's a god born character, um, and uh, basically he basically he disbelie- he disbelieves that um, he don't believe that the god actually brings happiness to the people. So he decides to become one with the natural, and uh, yeah, just. I can just like roughly explain like that. Mm. You know, I'm just not very into the characters very much. But, um, Got it. Yeah. So uh, okay. l- let's try this. What do you think would be three words to describe this character? Either characteristic or the way that he l- sees the world or like, what's his goal kind of just three adjective thing too. Uh, uh, oh, uh, he uh, is uh, sensitivity. Mm, sensitive. All right. Uh, mm-hmm. Less of, uh, he's very like a, um, uh, what is that word called? Uh, you could use Vietnamese. If, yeah. yeah. He's, uh, he's like a, he's like of empathy and, um, mm. he's just doing what he thinks that is right to him. Got it. He's like a nailish. 
nihilist. Mm. All right. So let's try to incorporate or include Val into this little team right here. So, uh, so Kieran is hey. okay. Go ahead. Hi. Go ahead. And do your Before... intro. Uh, sorry, sorry, I'm so sorry, but before we begin, to vow, uh, to vow, need to listen to our characters who, because he, he arrived late, he didn't know about the character. I don't want him yeah, to. So I'm, I'm just gonna, now. I'm just gonna do a like, overhead view okay. of all the characters, a samurai, a summary. Yes. Kieran is a weird, also a druid, but um, he's from the Feywild, another plane like the fairy tale planes and he accidentally comes to the material plane which is what we call like the normal world he's trying to find a way back and he's weird he likes cabbage quincy is a a person that is mm, best described a rogue is not always do things by the book he's uh, like he likes adventuring he loves new exciting experience and after meeting Kiron, or after getting Kiron's, after getting his cabbage stolen by Kiron, he sees that this guy is the perfect opportunity for me to go out and see some new things. So he sets on his way to adventure with Kiron. How do you think Val will fit into this picture? How do people meet Val, and why is Val on the journey with these two? Other people can help as well. If you think you have an idea, I mean. Uh... Personally, I think Val is just like, uh, he's a wandering, he's just wandering around. Mm -hmm. And then he just met this kind of group and uh, he think that at one part of his life, uh, get to know what uh, the people, what the real people outside, what they're doing. Yeah, I think this uh, kind of makes sense, the mm. character. I'm going to tie that back to Kieran trying to steal some cabbage again. And this time Val's along the way. Like, <laughs> damn. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, Kieran is... <laughs> On the way to go back to his world where there's a lot of nature, man, Val's like, all right, I'm in. No, but like he's bored. He's in his circle is bored. So I don't really think he would be fitting with nature. No offense, but you're disgusting. I, I mean, as a character, the whole spore thing is just very the last of us. Hey, I'm telling no. you, spore is still nature. Yeah. And uh, from from a from a out of character standpoint, just like a, a side, yeah. the Last of Us is beautiful in terms of nature. Like nature is growing all so yeah. That's yeah. nature taking back uh, what it is claimed by human. It's very beautiful in its own right. way. Right. Still. But yeah, you're go back to game. The Sorry. So you're welcome to Feywell to join. Um, but like, do not touch me. I do not like being touched by whatever the fuck that is. I'm sorry. Right. Shall we? Go to the chat to Jack Sparrow and I'm Jack Spartan. Spartan. That's Spartan. where he's from. Copyright people. <laughs> Copyright. <laughs> okay, right. so a quick summary for Val. Last night, Kieran, Quincy, and I, assumingly Val, arriving late, uh, has been accepting some help from Jack to travel across the sea. Jack doesn't ask for money but since he's because he's a good friend of quincy he only asks that everyone help protect his ship and his crew from the potential danger and he's gonna just go sideways grab some treasure along the way it's not like going straight from point a to point b uh, and he says that well if we're gonna gra grab some treasure he's gonna share you some because you also help so bar fight boom morning everyone's sleeping on the ground uh maybe hangover maybe with some bruises any other thing you want to prepare for the upcoming trip or you just head straight to the dock where the ship maybe might be i personally want to go straight to the dock but if you guys want to do any, anything I'm, I'm, I'm all for it right so assuming that we already have our gears on the on our person yeah you right? do because here okay if we do well there's only one way to, to go to the dock uh what about val uh, what is val doing I think I'm okay with that. I'm I'm just gonna go to the. I have no problem, and I don't think that uh, I need to bring anything else. Okay, hello, and Z. Let's go. The top, here we go. You are all walking, wobbly, of course, to the dock. Uh, yeah. Some of you have to lean on the other. Okay, Val, is it in character for you to not drink much and part not participate in the bar fight last night, or do you think your character would also do that a bar fight? Um. I think my character is uh, is also drinking a lot, you know, okay. booze. All right, not much better than the other two idiots. Yeah. 
<laughs> you all can try to lean onto each other and uh, try to lean onto the wall and walk around and then after about two minutes you realize that you are leaning on the wall of a house so you're just going back in circle and then no, uh, after that and you finally uh, managed to find the way to the sea to the dock when you go there you see that jack is already up and going seems he's quite used to the usual drinking and bar fight standing on the ship and ordering people around ordering the sailors to get ready with his usual demeanor of course actually you can't really tell whether he's drunk all the time or not and when you guys coming over he's gonna put a a blank from the dock to the ship so you guys can all walk on and let me move everyone to the ship map i thought you said everyone make out of athletic checks to see it before in the water <laughs> right all right so this is the new map uh hold on where is it all right here there we go Ooh. so as Hi. soon as you walk onto the ship the first thing you notice is the ground is not stable at all it doesn't help with your condition and second thing you notice is that as jack says the sunrise from the east in on the sea it's something to behold then you also hear a lot of shouting a lot of uh, ordering people around. Jack is standing in the middle of the um, uh, the, the top deck and uh, yelling to people. All right, I got to get them. Oh, man, I just realized I don't know a lot of terminology of boats in English. <laughs> Damn it. All right, orders. <laughs> uh, something about sales, something about uh, getting the sail ready, something about cranking the shit or like uh, uh, getting behind the wheels. He's after a bit, he also gives everyone a tour of the ship to so the top deck uh, it's divided at this part and you can yeah see a front this part there's yeah. a wheel and here you see uh, it's divided at this part and you can yeah see a front this part there's yeah. a wheel and here you see uh, Jack introduced you to the second his second in command uh, Silas this guy oh god he Silas? yeah uh, when when jack introduced you to him like uh this here's my uh, my second in command though he always think he's the first but no matter he is where he is and silas uh, like kind of give seems to be a grumpy old man just gives you everyone a look and like who who was his new uh yeah what was the word for it uh, non-sailor uh, not not getting their boots wet never got their boots wet uh Landlubbers? Landlubber, whatever that word is. And Jack's like, hey, <laughs> these are the new friends that we're gonna help us on our way protecting everyone. And Silas say, ah, good. They can't get a cover for the for the fucking dead comrades that uh, you have make them killed. You had them killed last time. And Jack's like, oh. nonsense, nonsense. They that is the risk of adventuring and treasure finding and everyone knows it all right yeah, enough from uh somber silas uh, let's head down to the uh, below deck and uh, he's gonna give you a tour there seems to be some like uh, uh, dining place which is just uh, several benches and uh, several table long tables um seems to be very messy down here there's uh, some sleeping place that's just some hammock hammock swinging from side to side there is one single cannon that's facing to uh let's say the right side of the ship mm -hmm. although there are many places for the cannons to be jack says the other kind of just you know out of maintenance and they they got yanked out by some kraken don't worry about it kraken you haven't uh, said anything about kraken no no, no no we are not going near anywhere near those krakens those are way down south we passed that we passed that what's a kraken uh quincy what the fuck it, the, the things that has a lot of arms and they swim kind of just oh. doing that motion it sounds like a spider i don't want to see it it's fire in the ocean it's weird oh yeah it it breathes legend says it breathes fire in the ocean and it actually burns oh, we survived that that is the thing i see <laughs> oh, oh uh. we survived that 
no man, or some of us did. Not with only one cannon in the entire ship. Uh, yeah, you, like, some sort of. Oh, wow. It it was getting it was getting a little bit distracted, but no, no, that's a story for another time. Don't worry about that. Today we're heading. He opens his uh, compass, looks at it for five seconds, close it. We are heading that way. Okay, we're heading uh, where? You're the captain. Lead yeah. the way. That I am. And the do we have any cabbages? Do we have any cabbages? Um, David. I mean, have, do, do we I have any cabbages? Yet? And David. Um, Captain, we we have some cabbage from last month. Uh, uh, good enough. I mean, uh, our friend Kieran wants some cabbage. You can dig oh, right in. Yes, cabbage. Oh yes. Oh right. Thank you. Mm. Wow, look at it, beauty. Yeah, this cabbage <laughs> is special. It looks kind of black. Half. Okay. I devour it like in in half a second. Like, oh, well, that was nice. Wow, tasty. Yeah, it has <laughs> it has a somewhat weird taste of rock, but no matter. You've eaten right. worse, <laughs> or oh, you've eaten better, I should say. Uh, real quick, is Zul uh, still in here? Oh, he is. He's just turned his yeah, camera I'm off. Still here, I'm still here. Got it. Yeah, on the camera, darling. Let me see your face. Yeah, I'm kind of busy for a sec. Uh, no worries. No worries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll, busy when you when you get. What are it's you fine. doing with your face? Yeah, I am back. There you go. There you go. So the ship set sails into the ocean. As you can see, the the land behind you starts to get smaller and smaller, further away. As you look back, the it's almost like it's coming so small that only a dot, a dot of civilization that you leave behind to journey into the unknown sea. At least unknown for many of you. Some of these sailors seem to know what they're doing and Jack suddenly uh, show that he knows a lot. Several days go by. Is there any particular things, just like flavor things, that you guys want to do while on the ship? It can be things that are actually useful as well. What do you want to do on the ship for several days, say three days? So uh, just a little bit more of description and the the morning, uh, the day on the ship is quite, everyone's quite busy with their task. Seems the ship seems to be understaffed. And uh, Silas does ask everyone or yell at everyone to help with things on the ship. That's up to you if you want to help him. And so during the meal time, people are just hanging below deck, uh, eating some not ideal food, but they do fish and got some uh, decent ones from time to time. They drink a lot of rum, water, wine, and they sing sea shanty. It is, it is somewhat enchanting. Yeah, what's uh, everything that's going on in the ship? The camaraderie and all that stuff. Right. So, what do you guys Anyone want, want to do? do? Something? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I would, may, may I go first since I'm the only one with um <laughs> something I've been planning on. Go, my go ahead. Right, thank you. Um. So. Um. So since you're mentioning people uh fishing, uh, Kieran, we're not helping, of course, <laughs> but he would grab one of the fish that's still alive, find a bucket. Put it in, put the water in, and since you can talk to animals, don't want to, they just you just don't uh, technically understand what they're. Just, they they can understand him, but not vice versa. So you will see him standing, uh, sitting in a corner with a bucket, and then it's just a fish that's just slowly dying from oxygen, losing oxygen and stuff like that. And like, you know what? I stop stop growing on this plane. People are very weird. You know, then you even do this handshaking thing, which is very weird. Like, why well, you shake hands? And then, as the people who have no tea, you're supposed to eat with no tea. Do you understand me, pal? And I just look at the, um, the fish. fish is. <laughs> yeah, I know it's weird, but but the more I stay here, the more I enjoy the place. You know, the Feywild is nice and all. You know, tree plant and eat your life and all stuff like that. Very fun here. The trees are very friendly. People talk to each other. And people look out for each other. You know, it's, it's fine to get high sometimes, but in Feywild. But like here, my mind just get. Get, I found clarity in my mind. You know what I'm saying, pal? I just look at the fish again and he's... <laughs> yeah, I know. So, anyway, dinner time. Anyone want a fish? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much my, my, my secret. Yeah, you'll see that's as the fish me. is passed to the kitchen and... 
I love Gary. He's so fun. Anyone else yeah, wish to do anything else? on the ship? Is day to day sailoring imposter. Well, Quincy would want to, you know, go around, look at the ship, talk to the people, see what the ship has. You know, like what sort of things are on the ship, and how many people are there? The ship has about, say, including Jack and Silas, ten in total, Ex excluding you guys. So uh, eight more sailors running, doing stuff. Things on the ship includes okay. typical things on the ship. Anything you can think of, it's in the game. Mm, okay. I want to ask for it when the time comes. All right. Yes. And you're going to be like, is there rope on the ship? And I'm like, yes, yeah, there is. You're going to be like, is there a bucket on the ship? And yes, there is. Uh, anything that's typical on the ship, uh, just ask for it. Okay. Oh. And then um, I'm going to end my interaction by going on top of one of those uh, really... I don't know what they call. I forgot what they call. Uh, the really long pole, like with it has like the gal part. Mm, okay. Okay. If you take a look at the map, I'm gonna just ping the location for you. Yeah. Go ahead. Like right here. Oh, that's like really yeah. high thing that you go to look at the sea. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know so what I that's called in that English. Thing. Yes. I'm gonna try to climb the thing, and um, if there's someone up there, okay, I'm just gonna be there with them. You know, having a little chat and then just look and enjoy the sea mm. oh and by the way if uh i'm talking to the dm uh, if you need to know then it's not called wheel it's called helm right and the person who pilots the ship is called a helmsman and helm uh person helmsman. in in second command to the captain is called first mate first mate and, and first mate typically uh, man the ship it's a it's job of the helm uh, uh, the, the first mate only boss people around <laughs> things like that mm. well this first mate also man the helm because they are understaffed not efficient a man of multi-talent it seems okay and uh, i'm done and it's uh, i think it's valve's turn mm, real quick so when you go to uh the the thing I, I think it's called Hua Tio yeah. in Vietnamese, but I don't know what that's called in English. You, uh, navigator? Yeah, could be. You would see that all the four sides are sea, calm sea. And uh, you can look to very far away and it sets your kind of kind of wanderlust like, huh, we, I can go anywhere. It's a wide open world. Just a moment to text it in. You breathe in all the air of the, like the saltiness, uh, the freshness. There's one other sailor that's climbing up after you. Uh, what are you doing here, hey mate? Trying to take the ship. They're trying to take in the view. And this this place, the highest place on the ship, is there a problem? Oh, there's definitely a problem, mate. I'm supposed to be here, and there's not enough place for two people. So get the fuck down, eh? <sighs> I see plenty up there, and you're not that big. Can't you just share? Eh, oh, you lazy ass. I go, if you're so inclined to just take the view in, just go help people under the deck or something. Go help the cook. Stop being a lazy ass down around. I have a job to do I here. Mean, two pairs are better than one, I think, right? So I can help you uh, on the lookout. You don't have to just look at the sea all the time. You know, we can take ships if you want. I'm, I'm trying to help you as well. I mean, I'm trying to help. Uh, roll me a charisma, a general charisma. Okay. This is uh, representing his impression of you. Charisma? Ooh. All right, real quick, Zhang. So this is how we resolve uncertain things in the game. We roll for it using a die or plural dice. Yes. Yes, I understand. Yeah. All oh, right. You watch critical roll. What am I thinking about? It's a D20, yeah. so a 20 sided die. There we go. Yeah, it's a D20. All right, with a 21 charisma, this guy seems to be uh, kind of hesitating, but somewhat opening up to Quincy. Mm. Right, right, mate. Just don't get into my way. I won't. You won't even notice I'm here with you. Whatever, mate. And then he's going to step in a little bit cramped, but uh, you guys find room. And he's continues doing his job. Okay. How about Val? What are you doing I in the approach, meantime? Mm -hmm. uh, I want to ask him a few questions. <clears throat> oh, I mean, we... uh, oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I thought, it's all right. Where are we heading, Jack? This way. He points ahead. What do you mean this way? You know that. Right? That is the See, way that we're heading. What do you believe in, Jack? Crazy is your friends. I'm not. I don't trust you. I just need to know where we're we going right now. 
Oh boy, I believe you were the one that didn't talk much during our introduction with Quincy and Karen. Oh, uh, right. No matter. We are going to find. Well, well, on the way of getting you to the new continent that your friend Curry needs to go to, we're gonna find some treasure. You know yeah. that? Hold on. Let, let, let me let me give me a second. Give me a second here. One. That's a second. The meaning of treasure doesn't mean much to me, but I need to know where we're we heading. In the direction of treasure, I'm telling you. All right, all right, all right, Fred, Fred, listen here. And as he puts one arm around your shoulder, I am the captain of this ship, the beautiful Red Pearl that's been on the sea for hundreds of years, maybe a little bit exaggerated, but definitely a lot more than you. Have a little faith in your captain. I decide to walk away. All right. As he puts a hand away from your shoulder, noticing a little bit of like spores and uh, uh, what what is it called? Mm. Fungi, I guess. Fungi, Fungi. yeah. Uh, it's like, uh, wow, well, one uh, one weird guy with just these shoes. He's continue looking out to the sea, one leg uh, onto a ledge, uh, looking longingly to the sea. Um, next up, I want to use. Uh, I have insight, right? You do. Oh, yeah, I do have insight, so can I use it on, you know, the character on the boat, right? So, you can. Uh, what kind of things you're trying to, information you're trying to get from them? Uh, you know, because the character is like, he disbelieves in most of the things. Uh, so you want to make sure that everybody on the, ro uh, on the boat is, uh, have the same idea with him. You know, it's like, get to the safe spot and don't get killed, stuff like that. Mm. Okay, you can roll me an insight. This will be representing your general effort of gauging everyone on the ship. Um, Where to roll insight? You go ahead and go into your character sheet. Yes, I'm ready. You there. see the page with a lot of numbers in it? Yep. Go ahead and hit Ctrl F and type insight. Ctrl F. Yeah, it's so like the search function in a web browser. I already press insight here, like 7 7. Oh yeah. So yeah. normally on row 20 it rolls choice. Oh, well, that's the default setting I have. If we okay. don't have if we have advantage, we take the higher row. If we have disadvantage, we take the lower row. And if we okay. don't have any any advantage or disadvantage, we just take the left one. That's a kind of default ish. All right, all With right. a 7 inside. That's not a very good row, but there are still things that you gleaned from uh, the people here. The general vibe is somewhat mm, Eh, eh, like meh. They s seem to be talking behind the captain's back a little bit. Especially uh, Silas. He, uh, the first mate, doesn't exactly think Jack's doing a very good job. Or even if he is, he's not doing a very good job communicating that to them. Just bossing people around and uh, keep all the direction and all the uh, information to himself and keep looking. Seems keep appears to be busy looking out the sea thinking that's the general vibe you're getting from the sailors okay um i decided to help other people around and that's it that's just mm. help other people around meaning like help sailors with stuff oh uh, yeah i'm gonna help Silas doing his stuff on mm. the job on, uh, on the cruise and mm. all right just idle stuff. go ahead and draw me a charisma charisma with advantage that is the everyone's impression of you, your character representing. Um, Charisma we is just the number. Uh, is the text above the big number? There you go. Okay, okay, here we go. There you go. All right. The people on the ship, the sailors, uh, seems to be kind of uh, nodding toward you in, instead of ignoring you, like other people, like other people in your team or your party. Several more days go by. Let me think real quick. It seems that. The boat is heading to the direction of rougher water. It seems that it, the rain appears more often and it's kind of wet the sail and makes it not as efficient to have it out. The wind's blowing in different directions and people usually have to uh, use manpower to move the ship forward. It appears that morale on the ship is getting a little bit low lower even lower than usual and uh, people are more even more grumpy that night uh, during dinner time jack is still eating 
on his own table as usual and everyone just uh, sit around and just uh, gossip about like, uh, what's you know, what's going on with the weather lately and it's kind of coming out of nowhere and then there's a little bit of thunder just like roaring in the midst of the meal suddenly silas stood up he yells well that's quite enough jack that's quite enough jack says and what is it? What is enough, dear sober Silas? Ja uh, Silas just uh, takes a few steps toward Jack's table, thumb a fist down the table. Well, that's quite enough of you just holding us by the nose and leading us on. We need some responsibility. We need clear information, and clearly, you are not fit for the task. Always just be by yourself, uh, yelling orders around. You haven't tried even help anyone with anything, eh? Yeah. What's the best thing you ever accomplished, huh? All the... Mm, what, what's it? Hold on, it's having a brain fart. All the white promise? What's that? Is that the word? The promise that's not delivered? You get the point. All the false promise of richness, uh, riches. I haven't seen a half of a gold coin coming into our perch for several months now you see other sailors also start to stand, stand up one by one say yeah jay uh, where's my money huh yeah we've been on the we've been on the sea for god knows how long i don't even know um, if my last letter arrived to my family or not where's the paying off you see a lot of people are getting more roadie as uh, Jack just kind of dismissed them and well you have to have faith in your captain you know not where you're going and if if we're gonna bring up that problem with the danger on the road again the risk will all be worth it in the end you know come on come on now he put a hand onto Silas shoulder as uh, Silas violently pushed his hand away well that's enough he shoved Jack nah, away and as usual with his uh, Jack kind of slanky body he just uh, kind of falls to the ground fellas i don't think jack is fit to be our captain no more come on we're gonna need a new captain and i'm gonna elect myself i've been on the ship long enough with the first mate i'm down with the changes doing the dirty work for everyone uh, he kind of spits onto the ground <laughs> unlike this unlike this fuck as all the sailors starts to st stand up and uh, goes towards silas and agrees with him seems to be siding with silas there seems to be some of the sailors that's undecided but eventually after thinking it through and seeing the pressure of everyone just also walk towards silas All right now if you don't mind us he grabs the captain hat from spartan lying on the ground and says if you don't mind us no jack you're gonna be start scrubbing this floor tonight oh and your friends have them do some work as well. They've been trespassing on the ship long enough. He yells, uh, Silas yells to the sailor and have them uh, kind of just hold on or grapple uh, our adventurer, specifically Quincy and Kieran. Val seems to be helping out on the ship enough to earn a little bit of respect. From Silas, it seems to be one guy that has been on the lookout with Quincy, kind of speaks up for Quincy, but Silas just like uh, talks over him and said, "Nah, it's not enough." During all of this commotion, if you guys want, like, on in general, if you guys want to interrupt me to say, uh, interrupt me politely to say you guys want to do something, you can. And I want also ask during this whole commotion, do you guys do anything? Because there are a lot of things uh, that are happening. Quincy is going to go after Jack mm -hmm. to have a conversation. Oh, he is being apprehended by two sailors. Because oh. uh, uh, he's during this, he also kind of protests and just tries to swing his face around to no avail. Okay, so then I will go just uh, visit Jack on the jail on the ship. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, uh, jail. Yeah, yeah. Have a ball. Okay. Have, have some words. Oh. You'll be having some words with him, all right? You two, you're gonna go into the jail of Jack for now. So I know you're his friends. Don't attempt anything funny. Just this guy here. He points at Val. At least he knows what he knows what's up on the ship. 
But you, if you attempt anything to help your friends out from the jail, we're gonna come for your head. You get that? Or you're gonna walk that blank down the sea. I mean, you're gonna watch I me should. anyway, so do your job then. No, 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 no. So, it's clarification. This is uh, Tian speaking, the DM speaking. Kieran and Quincy are thrown into the jail with Jack. Uh, Val, okay. getting a little bit of uh, uh, respect from the sailor, is Attention. not thrown into jail, but Silas warns Val if Val tries to help his friends, meaning Kieran, Quincy, and Jack. Uh, Val's also going to walk that blank to see. Okay. You guys could attempt to protest during this process. Yeah, I'm going to say, what did I do? I tried to help. There's no reason to put me in jail. Uh, I've never seen you around the deck, boy. Silas says. Well, that's because I'm not on the deck. I'm on the... Uh, well then, the you are fit to be in the jail. Uh, last I heard, you are the good friend of this jackass. Can't you rescue the me. Can't rescue. Uh, breaking Jack out of here, can I? <laughs> I agree with Silas. Yeah? I um, actually doesn't need to do anything. I'll follow Silas' side. Mm. You're on Silas' side? You dirty mushroom weirdo. Get them in the jail, Silas. <laughs> you're gonna well, regret. Well, you, you're well, gonna regret licking Silas' boots because I'm gonna put my boots in your ass. Oh my God! During all this, I just be like, uh, Karen, Karen would be like, uh, basically, he's very clueless about what's going on. He's he, well, he would just grab him and put him into a chair. Like, oh, 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 we can't just the room. Oh my God, upgrade, people! I just got upgrade. Wow, this looks nice. Uh, I mean, I'll look at those bars. And, alright, I'm just like, for cinematic purpose, uh, after after Quincy says that you're gonna regret licking Silas' boots, uh, I'm gonna come in for you. There's a, a cracking thunder sound that's like strike down <laughs> as the light flashes onto your faces uh, from the very tiny window in this jail cell. And Silas and everyone standing outside of the jail uh, looking in. Then uh, uh, there's also a very like, heavy rain going on outside, like thumping against the, the side of the ship. You can all hear. But amidst all of that, you all hear faint scream. Oh. Silas, what's that? Was that, was that Tommy? Yeah, David, go check, go check what's going on. I think he's supposed to be on the lookout, right? As Tommy goes by, uh, goes onto the top deck. Silas continues to mock Jack for all the deeds that he's a accomplished in this um, crusade. Ah, uh, see Jack, everything, everything you ever do is getting our sailors killed. You all, he points to the party, you all know why you're here? It's because Jack got sailors killed, so he needs replacement. That's what it is. You think he's your friend? Nah, he's just taking advantage of you. Like he's taking advantage of all of us. Another thunder strikes. As amidst this thunder strike, another faint scream. Well, this one's a little bit louder from David, the one that's just run up deck. What the hell is that? All right, we're coming on top. See what's going on. So everyone is coming to the top. I'm gonna say that a Silas assigns one person back. Uh, let's say Jason to uh, keep an eye on everyone else in the jail. Val, are you coming to the top with Silas and the other sailors, or are you staying below near the jail? I'm coming with you. Mm. Right then, let's go. See what this commotion's about. I'm gonna focus on to the people in the below deck for now. Jason is the only one remaining outside of the jail. Don't think I'm going anywhere. I, I have eyes all over you. The lightning flashes continues to uh, the lightning continues to flashes outside the dingy window, and rain continues to fall into the side of the ship. What are you guys doing? I want to snap at Shaq, but like not in the way you think. And I, I'll be like, are you, "Is that true? Are you just using us because you kill all your friends? Is that true, Jack?" Well, that's that's that that's that's. that's are you uh, like a cabbage too? Well, there what is cabbage. The cabbage. I don't know what you're talking about. There is cabbage, but there's no more cabbage. There's no more. How can you do this to me? I mean, you can kill people. You betray me. That's fine. But like, no cabbage. How can you do this to me? I thought you were a friend. This is the last fifth time I listened to one anyone else without questioning. <laughs> Continue. Sorry. Okay. Stay calm. I have 
a secret staff of cabbage. Right? Okay. So there you go. I have a secret mm-hmm. staff. Uh, above all, hiring you guys, well, asking you guys for help was part yeah. uh, was partly because we're understaffed. I thought we made that clear, huh? Oh. I I am only I am only using you guys as much as you are using me. It's a two way relationship. I I need you guys help with protecting the ship, and you guys need to go across the sea. There we go. It's a fair trade. Oh, yeah. That makes sense, Phil. Where's the cabbage? Where is your secret stash of cabbage? And it's just, I just well, well, well here, here, here's here. the thing about the cabbage, and it's supposed to be there. Now, Jason, Jason, you, you are there. You know my, you know my, right, my Jason. secret stuff. Right, Jason. It's just like I, I, I don't know when you guys talk. Just, just, just shut, shut, shut the fuck up, right? Of course you don't know. It's a secret. <laughs> I think. Ah, uh, what the fuck. Come on, Jason. Right. You know that if you just uh, go to... Well, I'm gonna say. In my secret stuff, there's just not only cabbage, but also my secret map and my secret, super secret, s- uh, 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 rum, rum, and, and, and my, my s- secret gold coin. Ah, uh, Jason? Yeah, yeah? Oh, like that, Jason? Coin. Uh, yeah. Jason's right, right, sure. All right, all right, all right. Just stay the fuck there. Don't try anything funny. Okay. And uh, he okay. turns his heel toward you, goes to uh, Jack's corner below deck. And as soon as he does that, Jack uh, opens his mouth and uh, stick out his tongue, swore it, there is a key. Oh. No, oh, not I so useless, am too, I? And I just, I, 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 I turn to him, like, oh, I can do that too. Like, you chew on my finger and just. Trying to make me myself vomit. Like, like the yeah, yeah, yeah. Fast. Okay, okay. We we don't need your cabbage on the floor right now. <laughs> you say, I'm not. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let this be known as the day that Jack saves all of you out of the jail. Yeah, and he he puts the key outside the jail cell, and then <laughs> lightning strike. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, uh, got it, got it, got it. Uh, and the, the door creaks open. As you all run now. Uh, oh, thank God. I thought I was going to kill you there back there. That's a relief. Let's go. <laughs> That's a good job, my friend. And then what are you guys okay. doing with Jason as he not sees good. you all running out? Hi, Jason. And then I try and do not... Pe- uh, sorry, my apologies. Um, do you want to do anything, uh, Quincy? Do you want to do anything? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, 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 I probably forgot you were there. <laughs> want to do anything? All right, so I was AFK for a minute, so can anyone yeah. give me a, a little bit of summary? Um, summary. Cabbage Man and Captain has a heartfelt conversation about betrayal and cabbage. Captain deceives the jailkeeper into going away and uh, grabs a key out of his mouth to open the jail. Now everyone's running across Jason again, who's just been deceived. We're gonna kill him, but like, right. do it cool. No, 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 just no. knock the shit out of him. Don't kill him. Mm-hmm. Uh, why not? Oh, God, fine. Knock him out. Hey, what, what is this that? is one of the rare instances that I have to agree with Quincy, and he joins in with everyone to punch this guy unconscious. We'll be like, hey, Jack. Bye, Jack. <laughs> I uh, know, uh, I mean, uh, he, he, he changes. Hi, Jason. Bye, Jason. All right, Bye, let's Jason. change the scene to Val going with Silas and the crew toward the top deck. The moment you go out of the door, I'm going to say around right here, from the below deck to the top deck, you see David, the guy that just ran up, standing right in front of the door while the lightning flashes, <laughs> rains down rains uh, falling down to the deck heavily silas screams david what the hell is wrong why do you scream you see the silhouette david slowly collapse to the floor revealing behind a hideous hideous face you see half rotten face with eyes sunken inside and the jaw wide open this thing is wearing tattered clothing that is uh, tattered clothing, clothing has been torn and is holding a scimitar in his hand. You see this figure. Okay. Silas, Val, and the crew see that. Some of the sailor that's with Silas sc- screams out in fear. So, so the rumor is true. 
It is truly the sea of the dead. True title. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. You see these undeads keep climbing from the sides of the deck. They are slaughtering whoever is on this deck currently. Uh, Jack and these three are not. I'm just gonna put the tokens around here. You're not on the sea, you're in the below deck. Oh god, that's not. This is... I'm gonna go ahead and time skip this a little bit. So about several seconds went by. Wow, you notice that Silas and the sailors tried to fend against these uh, undead, these zombies to yes. little avail. Well, Silas seems to be holding his, himself okay, but the sailors keep getting either pushed to the sea or getting stabbed. What are you doing in the meantime? What's your course of action? I decided to... Um, can I use my skill? Can I use my spells? You can. I'm gonna yeah. say this is still cinematic fighting for now. We will okay. go into official D&D combat when everyone else join. Oh, right, right. I, I get it, get it. Mm -hmm. um, let, me, let me think for a while. All right. Can I fight here? Can I have a question? You do. Cinematic can. fighting, so no spell slot is spent, right? Yes. Oh, shit. All right. Yes. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, um, while Silas is, um, you know, fighting with the uh, undead, uh -huh. um, when he unfocused, I decided to assassinate Silas. Damn. All Ooh. right. What you doing? What kind of spell are you using? Oh, you can take take inspiration from the spells you have, or you can just describe what you do. Um. Okay. Let me just. Your adventures ends here now, Silas. I am the new captain of this boat, and then he used the knife, stab him in the back. I'm the captain Silas now. <laughs> I'm the captain now. Right. <laughs> As Silas is fighting against uh, the uh, the undead, Val snakes up behind him. Psh, I'm the captain now, Silas. <laughs> takes a horrified look back at his shoulder. You! As a, as a, he still seems to be having some strength left, left in him. Just like swings his gigantic uh, muscle arm back at Val, pushing you aside. Whoa, you piece of shit! That moment is when Jack, Kieran and Quincy comes up from the lower deck. You all see all the sailors are uh, fending helplessly against these undead. And Seems to be Silas is over there. Uh, Val seems to be flinged over the across the deck by Silas. Now we will enter real combat. Oh, I just turned to Quincy. And say, um, Quincy, I don't think this is a bar fight. I don't think this yeah, is we, a bar fight. Come on, say something. This is kind of like a bar something. fight, but if it's on the sea, we call it uh, a mutiny instead of a bar fight. And um, yeah, people are killed instead of being beaten inside the head. So I'll get ready to get bloody. Oh my god, this is like Silas getting stabbed so far. Right. Now okay. we're rolling Fun. initiative. Uh, for, the, for the for the new player, for the newer player, initiative is how we decide who acts first in a combat in D D. Because it's uh, turn by turn. It's not everyone acting together. Uh, for the purpose of the game, each person get one turn at a time. And to roll initiative, first you click once, left click on your token, and then open your character sheet find the initiative button on there it's supposed to be above the very big number the very big hp number hit point number you got it hey let's go all right quincy feel free to take your turn because you know what to do but on val's turn okay. i'm gonna do a little bit of tutorial okay all right so we're on the uh like on the higher part right of the ship uh i'm so you just came from below deck, but well, you can be anywhere you wish to be. You just came from oh, this okay. door from below deck, kind of. So I'm gonna say here. Uh huh. Right. So I I would assume that the number of tokens of the zombies are the the actual number of zombies on deck. Yes. Or Currently, okay. as you also see, some seems to be climbing the sides. Please. Okay. Uh. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to attack the one closest to me using my bow. All right, this one. Shoot the bow, bro. At it. Go ahead and shoot it. Um, yeah, yeah, that one. Okay, a shot bow. Go to attack. 18 is a hit. Four damage. Four. Four damage. All right, and then I'm gonna tell Kiron to. Hey, Kiron. Right. There are still yeah. these things climbing, climbing on deck. So try to put 
put a fire on the this side, on, on the side of the ship so that they cannot climb up. Okay, give us some time yeah, because they're gonna are... burn the whole ship. That no, just the, the part. Just okay. You can, I, I trust you can handle it. But, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. and then I'm gonna. Okay, Quincy is gonna move uh, up a bit, mm -hmm. right to about here, right. Mm -hmm. So that he can get a vantage point of the, uh, the the battlefield, and then and I'm, I'm gonna end my turn. Mm -hmm. All right. So for the new player, Quincy just took an action. Talking is free always, and movement. Everyone can move according to the character sheet. Usually thirty feet, but some are different. Kieran, it is your turn. You see, Quincy just hey! shoot one of the uh, the zombie, the undead over here. The arrow seems to be piercing its flesh. But uh, its flesh is already somewhat uh, not intact, so the arrow can just kind of pierce it a little bit, uh, not doing enough damage to down it just yet. Right, it's my turn, and that's it. There's some there's some question. So, um, do do I do I see the uh, the zombie keep climbing up, or if this is all they have? Or do you do they, see the are, zombie no, seems no, to be climbing up? You see some hands start reaching the deck. And you can right. uh, suddenly hear thumping from both sides of the ship. If you take okay. a moment to look around, you also see very tall waves seems to be coming in this direction. Right, so I want to you entangle to you know trying to type out the other tree right here. They have a good position next to a bow. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, I think um, Quincy have a great idea of using fire to like stop them. But like, like you said, there's some huge wave coming. It is currently raining. You would notice that fire may not spread. It's also n not as effective as a constant flame. It's an instance of flame. It may be okay. Oh, oh what am I gonna do? I'm sorry, Quincy, but um, fire is not the solution right now. Maybe later. Maybe later. Right now, I think there's a better option. I would. You, you, you probably see. Uh, so, Kieran is a. Um, fireball with, with like a uh, ginger hair so I'll start casting my magic and then you see my my hair just like glowing with fires now I I, I start chanting my spear uh, my my spell mm -hmm. and I do this and then you see a uh, kelp from the from the ocean start rising up and then try wrapping through the uh, this area this area try not to uh, oh my, hit the bow but yeah Three of those, three that. of these. Yeah, you see, you see, in the bottom, in, 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 in the surface of the ocean, Carol started to grow, and I just climb, climb into the ship and just wrap around those three, those three zombies. Yeah, I'm gonna roll a strength save for those zombies. Yeah. One, two, three. What's your DC? Um, What's your difficulty? I'm pretty sure it's 13 because it's based on the team. Yeah, likely. Do you have three 13. wisdom? So That's three two wisdom. Of them. All right. Yeah. Two of them. Let's say. Uh, top down. So this one is not restrained. The other two are. You see, and all the seaweeds and everything from the ocean reach up, uh, wrap onto these uh, undead bodies, and um, it's also becoming difficult to rain as all the uh, entanglement kind of reach out on the floor, uh, on the deck. And Kieran is uh, also uh, glowing dimly uh, amidst the rain. It's like. Because yeah. your head is on fire, the, the, there seems to be yeah. raining, so it's kind of steaming above your head as well. Yeah, yeah. And I said, well, does anyone need some help? And I just, yeah, it's a bad punch. <laughs> nice move here. <laughs> move here. And that is my turn. Wow. You are next. You see your friend Quincy try to shoot one of the zombies over here, and Kieran grab, uh, got some help, or did some help. Did this one. Help. It's like a vegetable, like some kind of seaweed stuff. Vegetable. Seaweed. Oh, oh god. So, all right. Uh, for your character, you are a spellcaster, so it's slightly more complicated than martial. You also have uh, weapon options, which is a quarter staff or club, or you have spell options, ranged or melee or area control. What do you wish to do? Okay, right. uh, real, real quick, real quick. Let's let's start with the simple. Go ahead and use chill touch on one of the zombie. All right. Um, I will use chill touch on mm. this right here. Yeah, chill touch. Wait, what? Ironically enough, is a ranged spell, not a touch spell. So you can shoot towards the zombie. Go ahead and click on the chill touch text in the middle area. It's gonna 
become red when you point at it. Okay, hold on. Hold on. This is uh, because I have tilt touch, but um, it doesn't light up, so I can press in it. I don't know. Hmm. Press in it. S it's in the middle of the sheet. Give me one sec. Give me one sec. I'm, I'm kind of. It's so if you look at the oh you got it now twenty two is a very accurate hit. Click on the chill touch in the tab in the tab. The text chill touch just below the twenty two and the sixteen. There you go. That's the damage. Super. Right. This time I will describe the thing to you, uh, for you. But in the future you can describe your own cool things that you do. Your character. Do. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you see that well reach out points the hand at this zombie this undead over here and from the deck a spectral greenish greenish hand just reach up there's a slight hint of purple in this hand and grasps onto this zombie from below and then violently pulls it down to the ground as it weasels it just lets out this zombie just lets out and then stops that is enough damage to kill it you right, right. just use your action you still have your movement and a bonus action, which we will explain later. Okay. So, uh, hold on. Uh, I just like um, just a, just a question. Like, I can use one spell for one turn, right? Or I just you know that is a uh, rather advanced rule. But you can ask me what you wish to do, and I'll explain it um, step by step. Okay. 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 So, uh, since uh, Silas still battling with this zombie again. Mm -hmm. I want to take my knife. I am I have my knife. You do, but yeah. using a knife for you would take an action, and you already used your action for now. Oh, okay. So I have one action per time, right? Yeah, okay. but you can still move next to him if you wish to. Okay. Like set up or something. I decided to move uh, right here. Okay. Next to uh, Kiran. Hi. 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 Kiran is glowing slightly in the rain and steaming. New round. This round, the zombie are alerted of your presence, and they also dealt with most of the sailors. So they're gonna join the initiative with you guys. Uh, That's rather low. Uh, 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 so, they zombies. So. Yeah, there are more zombies coming up from the sea. What's well, this time actually? Skellies. I swear to God, if it's next to me, it's gonna be a wave. Uh, before that all happens, a wave crashes into the ship. Uh, from Whoa. the south southeast side coming toward the northwest side, I'm gonna need everyone to give me a strength saving throw. Mm. Saving throw. All right. Yeah. Do, do, so do, do. this uh, this wave is so high that part of it is still uh, going atop the deck. And if you're rolling ten, uh, if you're rolling below a ten, you will be pushed in this direction ten feet. It's gonna be very embarrassing if I fail this because I'm verbal and I'm very huge, but let's see. There we go. And there you have it, folks. Uh, and I just grab using my I uh, using my fist to I am uh, using my, my my fist and then my hand to hold on to the ship and I just since I like I'm very strong physically. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's not gonna do anything to me, but like some guys so, someone didn't make it and mm -hmm. I, I fell. Right, so Quincy gets pushed 10 feet to this side, Val gets pushed 10 feet here. Uh, this zombie is pushed off the ship and falls down. This Hi. one is pushed right here, this one's pushed right here. Uh, for cinematic purpose, Jack's gonna just run to Silas and duel with him. And they are, as for now, in this combat, somewhat out of the picture. They're gonna be climbing on some ropes over here and just do uh, sailor pirate things uh, swinging on the ropes and fighting each other uh, with saber in hand. All right, let me roll some initiative for the Skelly. All right, they are also bad because they are slow uh -huh. fox. Quincy, top of the round. Okay, so let me see. Hmm. I'm checking my equipment real quick mm -hmm. for items I can use. Okay, so Quincy knows that uh, zombies are supposed to be brainless, right? But they cannot think, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, doesn't matter right now. Um, can I ask, like, the zombie with the symbol on top means that it's restrained, right? It is being restrained. You would have advantage to attack it. It cannot move, and it has disadvantage to attack anything, everything. Mm, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna attack that one. Okay, go ahead and roll your attack with advantage, meaning roll two dice and right. attack the higher. Advantage. 15. 
15 is a hit. Oh, you barely avoided that one. <laughs> is that an odd one? It is. Yeah, that was an odd one. Go ahead and okay. add your sneak okay. attack because you do have advantage on the attack. Yeah, I do. And then I add my sneak attack. Damn. 17 in total. How do you obliterate this zombie? So, uh, it's restrained means that uh, like the kelps are holding its feet, right? Yes. Uh, here on? Okay. So in that case, I'm gonna put an arrow right straight into its chest and since it's like a zombie it's its corpse is very feeble mm -hmm. and its feet are restrained the arrow is gonna tear the zombie in half right it's gonna pin the torso while the feet stay in place all right i mean the whole the uh, lower body stays in place yeah okay. your arrow seems to find a good uh point to grasp onto and uh, the upper half of the zombie just flies across the deck while the feet still stuck in the kelp. Nice. Okay, and then I, since I... Mm, wait. I'm gonna move like in the middle of the ship because I'm afraid that another wave might knock me uh, overboard. All right, and then I, I end my turn. You do notice more waves coming. Okay, but right. do, I, do I know which direction? Still from the same direction. Oh, of course. Right. Here's six. Okay, uh, I'm gonna move a little bit further here. Safety? Yeah. And I end my turn. You do, as a rock, you do have your bonus actions, many options to do. Would you like to use any of them? Um, yeah, I do have a bonus action, but I don't think I need to use any. Okay, do I? Fine. Okay, oh, wait, wait, uh, let me, you know what, I'm just right on the this part. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I end my turn, for you. Kieran. Hey, it's my turn again. Right, since there's no more zombie in the area of the, of the kelp, I'll simply release the kelp. So it slowly slithers way back down to the, the ocean floor. And I said, well, I can't have all this fun without you, buddy. So, ready to come out? And you see, uh, uh, there's some heat in the air, even though it's raining. There's some very heat in the air. And right at this boss, there come like a small flaming, a flame, flame just here. And there you see a small dragon, like a baby dragon, like a, a baby dragon, appear right at that spot. And since, and so every creature around it, 10 feet must do like a, I'm pretty sure deck saving throw, DC 13, to see if they get blast with fire. Mm. This one is actually on the sea, it fell down, so it's not in range. But uh, uh -huh. these two fall, okay. these two failed. And that, you know what that means, do D6 damage please. Do I have to do the damage or do I have to do damage separate? I know, no. I never do it. I want to do it. Go ahead. So it's the command <laughs> is uh, slash R 2d6. Yeah, yeah. Use that without the right. quotation mark. Oh, come on. Really? Mm. Both of them are splashed anyway. by the heat. You see that half of the bodies of these two are singed, but they are not down. Well. That's not end of my turn. We don't know about that. Now, and I, and I, oh, I forgot the spell. Oh, yes. Kirinya, Doharis, Torkaris. And, and my little dragon, Kirinya, uh, attack this one. Mm -hmm. uh, so he, she could make a spell attack. Let me do it. I'm, I already make the attack. It would one be a, a D20 jump. plus 5. Or oh, we can do this. Dragon Flame. Nice. Yeah. That's a hit. On to which so one? Five damage. This one. Mm. As a. It As it's singed on the one half, it just turns its good eye against it, and then another just a flame just pierces its skull yeah, right at that spot. And it's dead. It's right? dead. It's dead. <sighs> so, yeah, so, so Kirini will do like a very powerful flame attack towards the creature. Yeah, there's nothing but cinders flying in the air. That's right. And that the end of my turn. Thank you. Mm. Oh, I, wow. I turn, wow. It is your turn again. What do you wish to do? Your friends have just been oh. shooting things and uh, burning things. And there seems to be more uh, zombies, more skeleton on the deck. So these uh, these fours are basically haven't dead yet, right? Which one? If I correct, right? these mm -hmm. uh, four. Um, oh, the um, ones with the axe are dead. They are, that's just their corpses. Excuse me, my connection is quite weak. Did you say again? Z these the ones with the axes are dead. Those are just their corpses. Oh, the a corpse, right? Yeah. Yeah. I decided to use um, Chill Touch on this guy right here. On uh, the... Uh, wait, hold on. Yeah, I decided to use Chill Touch on this. But instead of dealing damage, the hands is pulling him off the boat. Mm. Can I do that? Let me see. 
it is not in the spell description. So, but if you wish to do that, I can allow it. N normally, it is up to the DMs, depending on the DM, whether they allow it or not, and different DMs react differently. Yeah. But in this case, why not? It's going to yeah. be a harder, though, because that's not what the hand is usually supposed to do. I'm going to give... You can roll. You can roll chill touch normally. All right. It's AC going to be plus three. Doesn't matter. Describe yeah. how the hand pulls it down. <laughs> All right. So a spectral hand appears and just yanks it in the midst of the air. It's trying to uh, pivot itself against the railing right here a little bit. It's too powerful. Psh, flying right. about 10 feet over here. Yes. That's nice. And uh, I decided to uh, get over here. Okay. Compared to the... Uh... Nice. That is exactly how much movement you can do. Yes. Oh, when you come over here to the helm, you do see the the helm just spinning widely. Yes. So I decided to hold it steadily to make the ship to make the ship be stable if possible. Roll me an athletics. Oh, actually, a strength check. Just a strength. It's not a qualified as athletics. Oh my god. Yes. That's a you... twenty, man. That's a twenty. <laughs> That's a nat twenty. Natural twenty. <laughs> you wow. hold Ooh, on to damn. the helm. As uh, it keeps slipping your hands for a few moments, it's, it hurts a bit. But then you grab onto one of the uh, some of the good um, the good handles, and it, your whole body just bends to toward the direction that is spinning a bit. But you manage to hold on to it, and you can control it. All right, all right. Mm. And I am at turn there. And I am at turn there. Got it. So this skeleton is gone. It's gonna need a lot of swimming to do. This one will pull out its bow and shoot at let's see. Uh Quincy. A 17 to hit for six basic damage. I assume oh. that hits Quincy IC. That's a hit. Alright. The zombies. This one's gonna spend its whole turn trying to climb back onto the deck, but it's only move here. This one, let me see. Gonna move here, middle. Oh. oh it's no. gonna move here. Oh no. It will attempt to shove Quincy down to the sea. I'm gonna no. need a acrobatics or athletics from Quincy. No, Quincy. Need to beat an 11. No! At least 11. Oh yeah, no. Uh. <gasps> no! Uh, no! <laughs> Quincy is pushed off the railing. As a, this zombie is just like dash forward uh, uh, and then do a side shove. Kieran, you could try something as your reaction in the meantime hmm. can i try to grab uh grab quincy and you know you try it, 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 the zombie trying to push him but mm -hmm. i maybe have enough time to grab him pull him back maybe maybe give you know? me a <sighs> using a my quarter stab to a certain reach reach I'm gonna need, I'm gonna say this is a deck save. See if you react fast to this enough. The DC is also the zombie's strength check. 11? Yeah. Right. Like, let's hope it works. Uh, Quincy, if you die, I'm gonna take all your clothes, your stuff. Right. If I die, it's Dex awful. Dexterity save. <laughs> and that's a 10. That's a 10. Ah. Just shy. Ah. Quincy, ah. you fall to the sea. For now. No. Flailing. The fall doesn't do, uh, it's about... 20 feet fall, but it doesn't do damage because it's a sea. You are currently yeah. swimming. But mm, okay. who knows? Maybe your allies can help. You're not dead yet. Don't worry. I can help you. Uh, can that help was you. a zombie. Ah, be but before that, before the new, uh, when the new round comes, another wave comes by <laughs> onto the ship. Everyone on the deck, give me a strength saving throw. Quincy specifically also give me a strength saving throw, but not to be pushed, but... Um, not to be moved, but not to be squished against the side of the board, the ship, by this gigantic... Uh, so still, everyone's strength safe. Come on, come on, come on, please. Let me see. Oh, nice. Strength. strength. <laughs> I know, guys. Damn. Oops, yeah, it's a strength save. Oh. That's a nat 20. You see, you see, my, my, my Kieran body, the muscle just grew, grew a little bit bigger, and it just like, crap on the boat. Strength save, right? I just uh, press strength. Yeah. So, also, Bound would have advantage. That's a matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I, I was saying you have advantage because you're holding onto the helm, but that is still not enough. You are flinging to the side, 10 feet here. Kieran standing still with his gigantic body towering over everyone. Quincy, though you are not pushed, 
you are squished against the side of the board, taking, let's say, 2d4 damage, 3 damage. 3 damage. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. 3 damage. All right, uh, Quincy, um, can oh, I mm, talk to you about something? You can. Oh, you yeah. can. No, no, no. I'm like, only trying to stay alive. No, no, no. Like, talk, as in not in character, but like, you can delay your turn because... I can call my uh, my dragon, my, my Kirikirinya, to come and teleport you into the deck. She have that ability to teleport people. So you can, if you can delay your turn, then I can help you if you want to. Yeah. yeah. All I mean, of that I decision can, making but... may be affected by something. As Quincy, when you are uh, squished against the side of the ship, you also hear a loud thumping to the side of you. As you no. glance to a side, you see a Gigant silhouette of something climbing up the ship. It's putting one of its hand onto the deck. Everyone on the ship also see this uh, giant hand and another hand trying to pull itself up. You see a hideous face, a disfigured face of a zombie ogre. Its body is also decomposing with some of the weapons still sticking inside it. It's gonna join the initiative. All right, Quincy. Now it is your turn. Okay, so uh, the big it seems thing to be not deck, noticing right? you, just climbing by. Yeah. Uh, is it still is climbing, it? or is it? It is half. Half of its body is on the deck. It's trying to pull itself up. Will do so fully on its turn. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna uh, try to climb on the ogre to get its attention, stop it from coming on deck. My hero to climb. Your dad. Um. So. I'm gonna say climbing is a little bit hard on this part of the ship because you have to grab onto stuff. I'm gonna need an athletics. If you climb using the ropes over here, it's gonna be you don't have to roll anything. It's just half movement. This way you need an athletics. Okay. Uh, can I ask something else? Yes. Uh, I wonder if because I'm a thief subclass, mm -hmm. and it says that I can climb without using extra movement, and I don't know if that can. If that's gonna affect anything uh, that I'm trying that I'm trying to do, I think you will climb without using extra movement. And okay, so it's just gonna be like normal movement, but climbing. It's yes, it's climbing, but you will need still need an athletics to go this way, not an athletics okay. to go this way. Though so you can try to jump on the ogre, saying when it's climbing, you already try to jump onto it, and that that is still an athletics. That's still jumping. Okay, so, one so what what exactly do you wish to do? It, it what exactly do you wish to do? It will affect the DC. Okay, so um, right. So assuming that I'm okay, so I'm I'm next to the ship, right? Mm -hmm. I haven't climbed on it. So since I want to climb on the ogre itself, I would have to climb on the ship first, and then the ogre second, right? You could try to climb onto the ogre while it was climbing. That is fine. Okay, is then fine. and I'm gonna do that. Give me an. Uh, an athletics. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Kinetic. Eighteen. All right. None. Ooh. This will be a disadvantage. So. <laughs> Should I roll again, right? No. No. This is the ogre trying to squash you off with a disadvantage. It fails. Oh. You are coming atop with the ah. ogre. Right. I'm gonna say here. Uh, Holding on to okay, so its yeah, shoulder. Okay. Do I still have my action? Oh, wait, you. I just use my action to climb you, on it. Hmm. I'm gonna say you use all of your movement. You have your action. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm trying to use my uh, my dagger as like sort of climbing tool. All right, mm -hmm. to climb on the ogre while, while stabbing it like two birds with one stone. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and can I do that uh, using my bonus action to another uh, a second Okay, attack? you can do that. You can do that. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna do that then. Uh, attack with my dagger. Mm -hmm. No sneak attack though. Yeah, Go ahead okay. and do another one. That's the second hit. Both hit. Okay. Go for damage. It's a four and a five. Nine right. in total. Nine in total. It doesn't seem to be phased by that damage. It continues climbing up. Kieran, you also see this ogre climbing up with Quincy on its back. Stop, stop. What are you doing? So first of all, I said, oh, that's not good. And then, ow. Well, I've been brainstorming this for a while. Let's do this. Since there's a zombie next to me, I'll raise my quarter staff using both hands. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you using Shilela or just normal? No, no, there's no Shilela for me. So All right, 
that is still enough to whack its head. Its head should come rolling on the floor. Like a baseball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. So it's dead. Like, it's dead. Really it's dead. dead. So I swing his head like a fucking baseball. Mm -hmm. His head just pew, across the room. Right. Uh -huh. uh, I was going to use my special ability, but not the time. Wait. Um, and I'll use my... Uh, Quincy, do you need healing? Yeah, you probably need healing. What the heck? Let's hear. Like, I, I'll, I'll snap my fingers and you see like a, a small flame come from my finger and I just fly towards Quincy. Uh, I'll cast Healing Word because why not? Mm, it's a right. healing flame. Thanks. Yes. You're welcome, Tommy. 4 HP. 4? Oh, shit. Uh, isn't that I hate this? Right, 4. So you, you get 4 health. That is the end of my action. But it not... feels like Tiger Ball. Kirini! Wow. It's Kirini action! Kirini! Droharis! And Kirini uh, fly off uh, 30 feet and uh, start to breathing out a uh, flaming fireball for this one right here. I, Kirini, think you, uh, I think you need a bonus action to command your flame to do things. Wait, really? Let, let, let me check. Because the, 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 the fire, they have their own initiative and just start uh, right after me, so... Uh, blah 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 blah. You see feature blah blah blah. Fire with people because in combat break the chair. Any like that? You can do any action you think about it unless you're the first action. Fuck. Anyway, it can move. It can move on its turn. own, but uh, you need an action to command it to do something else than dodging. Other than dodging. Right. So I command it to fly, fly up. That's it. Mm. It will. So, so it little... will trigger an attack of opportunity from this zombie because it is right next to it when it leaves the range. Would you like to do that? Is it worth it though? Is it worth it? Like, it's gonna get... So the skeleton, that it, it, does, does he has like a short bow or something? He has a, a short bow. Yeah, yeah, it's not worth it. You know what? Stay here. Just just stay for it, Kirini. You, you, you'll be useful next time. Alright. Anyway, that's my turn. So, Zhuang, are you familiar with the concept of at attack of opportunity uh, or opportunity attack? Zhuang? Uh, excuse me? You were saying? You were saying? Are you familiar with the concept of attack of opportunity? or opportunity attack um i can't say that i do okay so when in combat people have reactions and one way to use that reaction is when an enemy moves away from our melee reach we can use that reaction to make an opportunity attack when they re when they leave it it may right. have come up sometimes in critical role it's it's a it's not coming up often so i'm just All mentioning right. that because uh because Barry tried to have his summon do something and coming out of this zombie's reach. So I think it's a good time to bring that up. Okay, okay, okay. Get it, get it. All right. The ogre zombie, it is now its turn. It is slamming both of its fists, uh, fists on the ground as it climbs up fully on the ship. Quincy is uh, climbed onto the... It's, br it's brought onto the ship with it. It will try to swing its arm back at Quincy. That's currently on his back. One. A nine, assume that miss. As uh, Quincy is uh, on its back, it's kind of flailing and trying to grab it. Another one, a 12. Is that a hit? No. Yeah. Uh, you are still on the back. Also, you have four more yeah, HP. Yeah. I, I think you didn't add it from Kieran. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. You see, the battlefield has changed. Of course, you've been shifted to the side, and the helm is starting to uh, go wide again. And there's a ogre zombie coming up on the deck. Huge. Um, okay, okay. Let, let me see for a sec. Um, you have different spells you can use. Maybe a good time to try out one of the things. Yes, I am um, planning on doing so. Mm. I would, uh, I I would realize. travel to here. Uh, okay. Go ahead. Okay. And then I use, uh, sh cool. uh, I use shape water. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I, I create, uh, it's shape water, create a vortex. And then just, um, what do you call it? It's just like, uh, it's not a vortex, it's like a, a flow, extremely strong flow of water mm -hmm. that's just continuously uh, blowing. Blowing is not the right word, but... Um, sweeping, là, sweeping. Okay, so I'm gonna say this is a cantrip, which is a lowest level spell. It's usefulness. This is one creative use of using it. But I'm going to say at best, it could annoy the ogre. It's not good enough to push it away. 
okay. You would know that before using it. Would you still wish to do that? Um, there are uh, more powerful spells just, lower on your sheet if you would want to try them. Um, no, no, currently just like that. Uh, and then I freeze the water, so it's just so it's um. Kiểu như khóa chân cái con zombie đấy lại. Được. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say the zombie can. So for this one time, it is uh, distracted and it will try to make. Uh, it will have to make a strength save to resist that freezing of water around it. It's like it seems that the water freeze around its leg. It just looks down and casually raise it up, breaking all with the freezing. It's rolled pretty high for its strength. Kicks it to a side. You see shot of ice flings everywhere on the ship and quickly washed away by the rain. Mm. So this skeleton is gonna take too long. It's gonna be out of the picture for now to go back onto the ship. There's one skeleton left on the ship. It's going to shoot. I think it's trying to shoot at Quincy uh, to help its friend out. No, Quincy, no. That's a miss. Yeah, shoot him. That's a miss. <laughs> A zombie, is there any more zombie? There's one zombie slept on the deck. It's gonna slam at bow. A 20 uh, accuracy to hit and 6 bludgeoning damage. Go ahead and minus that into your HP bow. Top of the ground, Quincy. The ogre seems to be the most dangerous enemy remaining on the deck at this point. And uh, it seems not that phased from your stabs. No one else has done anything else to it in total damage. Okay, okay so. Uh, I have a, a hunting trap in my backpack. Mm -hmm. So can I use the hunting trap and just activate it on top of the ogre's head? Can I do that? It's like like this. Just... It will do damage, but it will not restrain it in any way. I know, I know. Uh, yeah. And okay. by doing that, because I hope I hope that it would obstruct its sight somehow, right? Because it clamps onto its head, and I hope that it would damage uh, or at least obstruct its view. Can it do that? Just okay. Like okay. Onto its yeah, I'm gonna need normally it, the hunting trap does damage on a failed deck save. Let me see. This way, if you want to obstruct it, I'm gonna need a slide of hand from you. Okay. It's gonna. The DC is. Uh, wait. There are multiple DCs. The DC is 10 for. No, the DC is 5 for the damage. You will pretty easily do the damage but the dc is 12 to obstruct its view okay do it slide of hand don't fail me now let's go 11 oh my god Aww. all right Shit. one more okay oh, you, you got it all right i mean so I can do that damage is the damage that is the damage Ooh. Ooh, excellent damage. all right you um, do have your bonus action if you wish to do anything else that was your action hmm Oh, since a thief subclass can use an object as a bonus action. Oh, that was a bonus count? action. Fine. Okay. Then I am going to. Oh, can I ask something? Um, do I find some rope that is attached to the boat itself? Yes. Uh, I mean, the you ship? Do. Yes, you do. Okay. Can I use my action to use the rope to tie the rope around the leg of the ogre to try to make it fall when it. Okay. Okay. Give me an another slide of hand. Okay. Oh, be the trendy. Be the trendy. Oh. Uh, it uh, it seems to be just uh, ignoring you, but somehow its feet that's just kicking up the shards from before from Val. Some of the shards just like, pierce the rope that you're trying to use. And ah, uh, damn it. Okay. It's it's still uh, a difficult terrain for it for now. Although you not manage to trip it, it's still difficult terrain in this area for the ogre. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, and then I'm um, uh, so the, the the hunting trap is still on the ogre's head, right? It's still on the ogre's head. Mm, okay, so I'm gonna use my movement to climb down from uh -huh. the ogre, uh -huh. right? And then I'm gonna tell uh, Kiron if you have any lightning spell, what? use it on the ogre. It has the metal thing. Well, I'm more of a fire guy. Uh, I'm more of a fire guy, so lightning isn't like my thing. So yeah, sorry. I mean, out of character. Do you have heat metal? Uh, yeah, I do have heat metal. Ooh, ah, use it, use, use it, baby. Counting on you. Okay, so uh, Quincy oh. and his turn. All right, and it's Kieran's turn. It was Matchup. Shit, sorry. Yes. <laughs> okay. Sometimes I forgot that my name is now Kieran. <laughs> yes. Right. Right. Uh, right. Um. So, what do you want me to do exactly? Um. Uh, Quincy, what, what do you what do you, what do you want me to do exactly? Like heat the metal on your trap, right? Uh, the trap sprung on the ogre's head, stuck on its oh. head, so you heat it. Oh yeah. You burn the ogre's head. 
Oh yeah, Hit that makes so snap. much sense. Yes, yes. All right. Well, I hope Val can take care of that the other zombie because I'm not gonna care about him anymore. And I can look at. All right. Well, I don't have lightning, but I do have these, and I just give that easy. Doris, you see, like the heat from the um trap. The second level shit. Yeah, the heat from the trap start. The trap start like glowing red. The heat starts to glow, and yeah, I cast heat metal on the trap. Can you press that spell for me? Yeah, and yeah, while yeah, you're doing yeah, that, uh, the uh, ogre just like uh, starts to scream as uh, all around his face is getting hotter. <laughs> yes, yeah. 2d8 fire damage, okay, roll that yeah. for me. 2d8 fire damage, okay. Don't you are maintaining now, concentration on that. Yes, I know. That's why I'm so scared. <laughs> Shit! Um, I'm sorry. This is my internet because I, I still couldn't see the the, uh, the damn the roll. Uh, One, the roll is not coming eight, up yet. Eight, seven. Yeah, that's One more eight. One more eight. Really? Two the eight. It's two the eight. Oh, two the eight. Shit! Okay, now give me an eight. Give me an eight. Give me an eight. That's an eight. Yes. That's, that's an eight. eight. Yes. Yeah. Fuck you. You fuck your mother. Yeah, shit. Sorry. <laughs> you see that it's uh, done. A great amount of damage to this ogre. It's, uh, uh, it's trying to hold onto the trap and pull it, but uh, it's too hot. It's burning its hand when it's trying to reach there, and it's remaining there for now. Uh, uh, seems that, yes. that effort is fruitless. It's just gonna, gonna dive right here into the middle of two person here, and w with its head Wait, still it's glowing. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It, it's is still it, your turn. Is sorry. It dead or no, no, it's not. It's still my turn. I mean, I'm done with my shit, but like, Irina is still there. Irini. Irini gotcha. dying. Dracarys. <laughs> um, should I? Uh, give me a second. Oh, uh, there it is. Dragon Flame. That's... It's a nat one. Unfortunate. Yes, it's a nat one. So, I end my turn. Wait, no. Yeah, I end my turn. Mm -hmm. Alright. So it's... Uh, as the description before, it's trying to take off the, the trap. But it's too hot and said mm, clams too uh, well onto its head. It's just, it's the attempt seems fruitless, and it runs to Kieran in the middle of Kieran Quincy. In the furious, in the fury, it slams both of its hand to the ground. I'm gonna need you both to roll me a strength save. DC fourteen. Well, fourteen. Strength save is like my forte, but like we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Not twenty. Oh, not twenty. Right. Oh. Oh shit, that's good. Right, okay. Now don't fail me now. Don't As fail me now. The furball, the giant. Don't fail me now. Grant me strength, dear. And Do it. Then, oh. of course, when I need it the most. Uh. Uh, it's just running over. <laughs> Both his hand slams all around. As you see, the decks then And all the... Uh, the pieces of wood just flies everywhere. Kieran, you take 6 damage and 4 prone. Bludgeoning. Quincy, you only take half of 6 damage, which is 3, and not 4 prone. I'm gonna need Kieran to roll me a constitution saving throw for that concentration. Wow. Well, Do it. Above 10. No, don't fail me twice. Don't fail me twice. 10! That's exactly what you need. Ten. It's a 10. Oh, oh, nice. oh, yeah! Oh my god! Hi! Yeah! Oh my god! Thank you. Whoever you are, thank you. Right. Val, yes. would you like to deal with the big thing or the small uh, zombies? Um... Can you, uh, give, uh, give me a second here. Uh, give me a while. I can, I can think of, think it out. You, because you are a, uh, let me see. Oh, hold on. Sorry, sorry. I'm clicking on your sheet. It's a spore. You, it's a spore. Yeah, it's spore druid. Mm. Um, hold on. Let me. You, I would move here. Uh, can I? I am. Oh, I, I ran to here. Step on the, uh, the corpse of the zombies. This zombie right here would try to attack you. When you run away oh, as a reaction, you attack me like right now, right? Yeah, yeah as a reaction. Would you want to do that? Is it worth the risk uh, of being attacked? That's usually what you think. Uh, nah, about. nah, 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 nah. I, I, I'll use chill touch on uh, this zombie. Chill touch is, well, weirdly, a ranged attack. So when in melee, you have disadvantage on all ranged attack because the enemy can try to throw you off your aim, push your hand away. Really? May I say something? Yeah. Okay, sure, 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 sure. Uh, can I say something? Um, so, as a fellow druid enthusiast, you are a spore, circle of spore druid, which you have the ability of turning yourself, cover yourself with spore to increase your health and attack whoever is next to you. And also dealing extra damage because you have spore and mushroom all over you. 
it's, it's like mine when I summon my, my fire dragon. You have your mushroom, so you might want to use it because it is what it is. It is part of your character, so you might want to use it. It's very fun. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. It, it makes a lot of sense because I just get used to this character. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, that's a brilliant idea, I would say. Yeah, uh, I would use uh, Circle of Spore. I don't know, the Circle of Spore. So, uh, the, uh, it is the yeah. very last one on your sheet. It is Symbiotic Entity. Yeah, Symbiotic Entity. Yes. You Do you want to describe how the spore on your body interacts when you it, activate this? It took me a while. This took like imagination. That's fine. So I'm just going to say that all the spores on your body uh, grows, all the fungi on your body grows to cover you uh, with an extra protective layer. And it also covers all of your hands and the weapons you're holding, potentially uh, spraying sprawl whenever you attack in melee to deal extra damage. Mm, normally, attack, you saw me right here. Okay. Um, Normally, when you use this, it takes an action, but I'm going to say well, because you didn't know uh, and you're an, a new player, I'm going to give you the benefit of already using this before combat. You can just attack. Oh, okay. Just, Go ahead and just... use a quarter staff. All right. Quarter staff. Mm -hmm. We're going to plus three to that because you have shooted off and it's not on here. You can also use your reaction to do necrotic damage to set the spore to attack. Very fun. Okay, I'll just use this core staff. That's a hit. Roll the damage. Copy and paste this. You have extra 1d6 damage without the quotation mark. One. <laughs> that is, so that is enough okay. to kill the zombie. Okay. Ooh. You want to nice. describe your attack. So I hold, I activated my spell. I hold the core staff by two hands. Smack the zombie in the head so brutally that its head just fly out of the, uh, just like, you just get... Uh, the zombie just get decapitated by the hit. Got it. It's flown okay. to the sea. Boom. Okay. All right. All right. Sounds nice. And I and uh, I end my turn there. Yeah, I end my turn. All right. Uh, okay. And see, zombies no longer on the ship, so they no longer have a turn. Actually, a skeleton is still here, and it will attempt to shoot. Wow. That is a miss. Quincy, yes. go ahead. Take your turn. The ogre seems bloody at this point. Bloody. Right. I'm gonna. Right, I'm gonna attack Koga. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna slash its knees with my uh, short sword. Mm -hmm. You have sneak attack because uh, okay, one of your gonna... ally is next to it. Yeah, I... and I use I also use my bonus action to uh, do an offhand attack as well. Go ahead. Uh, short sword. So thirteen. Crazy. Ooh, and, and another attack. So twenty-two. <gasps> Give him the yeah, Quincy damage. special. Two daggers. <laughs> Eight and then oh, does the sneak attack apply? Mm. Say like it's once per turn, right? Once per turn. The damage for the sneak yeah. attack, so only once. Ooh. Sixteen damage. Sixteen damage. Um, it is close to death door. As a when Quincy nice. slides it, um, it seems that one of its arm is just falling off. It's trying to, its best to cover uh, the wound on its body and also at the same time try to yank the trap off to no avail. That's burning on its head. Kieran. You're being prone. You can stand up with half movement. Or not. Yes, yes. I put my fist down the floor to stand up. Well, that was something. And since I still have heat metals, that mean that's me 2d8. Again, 2D8. Right? 2d8. Yeah. Aha. All right. Um, that's a bonus action. Uh, wait, bonus action? It is. Yeah, okay. a bonus action. I, is the ogres really bloody? Like, really, really? It's close to death's to door. Out? It's close to death's door. Because if this fails, then I'm fucked. And now I still got this action. So. Oh, yeah. uh, do I make my finishing move or do we continue fighting? How do you want to do this? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah, baby. So you see the, the heat metal, the metal, the, the trap inside uh, on top of the ogre head, it starts to glowing very, very bright. Yet. And then I clench my, my palm, explode, and the whole ogre head just completely fried. The head is completely fried. It's dropped its knees with his head and been fried. Mm. Mm. Yeah, as it his head ex, as his head explode from the heated trap. Now uh, it's the gore is everywhere on the floor, uh, mixing with the rain as the Yo. trap clams in because there's no longer anything there, uh, and the whole body slumps to the ground. For the remaining 
things or just one skeleton on the deck is easy enough for the seasoned adventurer that you guys to deal with. Though Silas and Jack still seems to be fighting on uh, near the sail, near the sail, uh, there seems to be saber uh, scratch all all on the sail. It is now tattered. They are still screaming at each other. Uh, Silas blaming Jack and Jack uh, also trying to dodge all the attack and deflect the blames at the same time. Uh, both seems bloody. But as you all look to the south, as uh, the southeast, there seems to be another wave coming. This wave seems to be 20 meters tall. So about, let's say 50 feet. It's, you were too engulfed in the fight at the presence of the ogre to realize it was coming and no, hold on one second it is coming slowly but surely toward the ship towering almost as tall as the tallest sail in the on the ship it's crash on you all feel the ship leans away from this uh, from this wave as it brings uh, the side uh, as, it, as it brings itself onto the ship <laughs> the sound of wood bending and then breaking it continues to lean almost at 90 degree at this point you notice uh, as Kieran and Quincy is near the middle uh, the middle sail they can hang on to it hold on to some ropes but Val is near the side and almost falling out hanging on to the deer to his deer life next to the railing Jack and Silas uh, also seems to be stuck on in the middle of the ropes here. Some of them, some of it is stuck, uh, wrapped around their arms, some of that wrapped onto their legs. But no matter, the ship leans more and more, 90, 90 degrees at this point, and its deck slowly face the ocean. <laughs> the water hits you, the saltiness hits your mouth, your eyes, your wounds, wrapping onto your wounds from the fight earlier. It's complete darkness and with that we are ending the one shot for today what's uh, the fate what's the fate of the adventurer will be like we'll find out in another time in another part yeah. of the story <laughs> wow mm. guys no love your hand uh, thank you everyone it's great. It's great. Yeah. thanks everyone for participating uh, you have been really great players with great moments of roleplay I enjoyed it we enjoy mm. you too DM dungeon master you have this story, it was fun. It was very fun playing like this, English and everything. And it's it just, it's just amazing. Yeah. Best Sunday morning ever. It is, I, I have the right decision not to sleep, to sleep in. <laughs> is that a plan to do? It's fun. It's very fun. So this game is one of the more role play focused one. Even in combat, I try to give you guys a moment to like, really hone into the character and uh, stay in the character's shoe to describe what they're doing. And... I think that uh, with the right group of people, uh, it can be very fun. And today, you guys all delivered. So thank you for that. Thank you for participating. Yeah. Real right. quick, uh, I think we can switch to Vietnamese if you guys want to. Mấy có thể nói tiếng Việt. I'm sorry, what is he talking about? Sorry. All right, stop trolling, <laughs> stop trolling, Barry. <laughs> Trong server cũng, okay, có, okay. cũng có người nước ngoài, nên là thiện để cái game như này để có thể có người đăng ký. Như là cái bạn gì của Barry ấy. Nhưng mà hôm nay thì toàn là... Hôm nay thì toàn là Việt Nam đăng ký thôi. Nhưng mà Thiện vẫn muốn để một cái vibe của cái game này là tiếng Anh. Chơi cũng vui, cũng có người bảo là chơi tiếng Anh cảm giác nó khác hơn. Đúng, cảm giác nó sẽ giao tiếp, nó sẽ có một cái gì nữa khác bọt hơn. Tiếng Việt thì nó hơi kỳ. Ừ. Ừ. Ok, em cảm ơn Nó không bị sượng, nó không bị sượng hay tiếng Việt. Đúng rồi, tiếng Việt thì cảm giác nó hơi sượng. Nó, nó không bị <cười> lắm. <cười> Dài ấy. Ờ, Thiện là trước kia cũng... Bạn... Hả, sao? Nó đấy. Em tính nói là gian đầu tiên của bạn Đoan đúng không? Bạn bạn chỉ bạn Đăng đúng không bạn? Dương Sorry. hả? Dương hả? Dương Dương Thôi đi gian đầu của bạn Dương hả? Bạn Nguyên thấy như sao? Game Dương đâu? Ờ Nhưng mà khá thú vị Khó khó là mình tưởng Cái này nó phải thật sự rất là nhập tâm Thì mới được ấy ừ, Còn mình kiểu có vẻ mãi ngồi đọc spell xong rồi phải check ruling Nên là mình... nó nó sẽ hơi bất tập trung một tí Mà nhìn chung thì nó cũng hay Nhìn chung thì cũng vui à. Thế là nếu mà cái cơ hội chơi lần sau thì sẽ Mình sẽ cố gắng nhập tâm hơn Chơi sẽ ừ. gọi là vào 
thiện recommend là nếu mà mới chơi ấy, chọn những cái class nào đơn giản hơn một tí mấy cái martial kiểu fighter cứ đến tên là bom tầng bom ừ, mình nghĩ là sau mấy chọn cần human fighter nó dễ chơi kiểu ra ừ. không không có vấn đề gì chọn những cái đấy cả kiểu là mình chọn những cái đấy để mình đỡ phải quan tâm đến cơ chế game hơn và tập trung vào nhập vai nhân vật hơn thì cái đấy cũng là một phần hay okay. của game đúng rồi đúng rồi đúng rồi ok mọi người còn người mới nay nói gì không ý là thì Dương cũng đừng có bị quá cảm thấy mình phải chọn mấy cái class dễ tại vì người mới chơi thì đương nhiên người ta đọc thấy cái class nào ngầu thì người ta kiểu như kiểu như là sao ta nó đồng điệu với mình người ta sẽ chọn thôi chứ không nhất thiết phải là phải dễ chứ tại vì nếu mà người mới chơi vô ai cũng chọn dễ hết thì ai cũng chọn fighter hết là chán thì đương nhiên là mà... nếu mà chọn một cái class mà nó hơi lằng nhằng hơn tí thì nên dành một ít thời gian trước game hoặc là cũng hỏi người khác hoặc là tự đọc đúng đúng, đúng. Là ý là mình sẽ tập trung một cái aspect là kiểu nhập vai nhiều hơn là cái aspect chơi game phần mình nghĩ là phần quan trọng thời gian à, cái game session này cũng là official à, kết thúc rồi nếu mà mọi người ai có việc phải đi đâu thì hoàn toàn có thể là cáo từ mọi người đi còn không thì mình vẫn có thể là ngồi bàn ừ. chuyện một tí về kiểu game in general vừa game vừa rồi hoặc là cả cái Dungeons and Dragons game vẫn luôn để cái thời gian bàn luận thôi đọc sao nhớ đi sớm sớm giúp vào sớm sớm thì mình cũng vào trễ nha ta đợi đi à, mình cái đấy mình mình mở lên bắt đầu là mình mở lên thì mình đặt nó có hai cái dòng là trong tuyển player ấy thì mình lại mình tham gia cái đấy rồi xong mình lại đọc cái giờ của cái giờ dưới nó là 19 giờ 30 thì mình lại đọc thành giờ 30 thế là còn lưu ở trong điện thoại là đấy nó đi là 9 giờ 30 chơi mà à, mình lúc quay lại thì thấy mọi người bắt đầu vào rồi thấy cái này quá không sao là cứ pay attention thôi cái đấy, sorry mọi người nha hiểu lắm không không, không, không có ý mà thường thì từ cũng đấy à không không phải nói là dương nhưng mà một cái game mà chơi nhiều người cả một nhóm nhiều người đấy nhất là online mình cũng nên là đúng giờ một chút để tất cả mọi người không bị ai ảnh hưởng thiện đã từng ngồi cái nhóm chơi điên đi cũ của thiện thường cứ phải 30 phút một tiếng sau mới mọi người mới lên hết kiểu thực ra là bọn nó cũng bận nhóm cũ vì trận chơi cảm giác chơi thế đợi cũng mệt nhưng mà đợi thì nó cái gì nó thoải mái nhưng mà đúng giờ là ok nhé à, cái này ấy, thì bình thường mình đọc ruling các thứ ở đâu ví dụ như là có một số cái vì trong đầu mình thì xảy ra nó rất là hợp lý nhưng mà về cái ruling thì cảm giác nó nó không không đúng ấy thì mấy cái ruling thì mình sẽ đọc cái đấy ở đâu ruling là như thế nào à, bạn đang nói đến cái gì kiểu cái luật ví dụ ví dụ như là spell các thứ thì là ví dụ như là mình có được dùng nhiều spell trong một tơn không hay là mình như thế nào đấy ừ, Thường, như mình có thể giải thích cái đấy bây giờ là Uh, có thể dùng chỉ được dùng một cái phép có level một tơn cái phép còn lại sẽ phải là can trip nếu mà muốn dùng ừ. vì nói chung về đơn giản như vậy mình cũng không thích cái phiên bản phức tạp của nó hơn là bonus action hay action thế nào mình thì thường như vậy còn nếu mà muốn tìm các cái luật của dnd có thể là lên google search dnd xong viết cái mình cần hỏi sẽ có rất nhiều trả lời đấy thì vừa nãy mình phải mất một lúc để mình check mấy cái cái đó để xem là nó có hợp lý không cái này nghĩa là mất thời gian rất là dài để, để thực sự là thấm nhuần được cái cái, cái này đúng rồi à, mình bảo là không phải thực sự ai người chơi nào cũng nhất thiết phải thấm nhuần tất cả mọi thứ đâu chỉ cần biết những cái cơ bản là đến lượt mình là có những gì để làm xong rồi lượt của combat như thế nào lăn các cái skill các cái saving throw các cái attack roll như thế là đủ để bắt đầu chơi rồi còn về thành thạo cái cơ chế của game thì cứ dần dần à, nghĩa phải dần dần mà cái này nếu mà thực ra nếu mà được kiểu cái role play mà nhập tâm hơn nhiều nhập tâm hơn ấy thì nếu ra game sẽ thú vị rất là nhiều ừ. em cái đi của role toàn là kiểu đấy mọi người nhập rất là nhập tâm mà ừ. nói đó, như nói chung, là, nói chung là bạn đừng cầu role viết cầu role nữa biết biết là thế nhưng mà cái 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 hay của trò này là kiểu nó cũng là đóng vai ấy, kiểu diễn diễn ra thứ ấy mà mình bình thường ừ. mình chơi thứ này mình không quen ví dụ như là mình chơi uh, Ví dụ như là chơi một cái game gì đấy mình chỉ độ action, làm action thôi xong rồi là thế thôi Đó ừ. chứ kiểu như là mô tả như này như kia xong rồi là mình uh, phải kiểu vào nhân vật hay như nào đấy Cái cái, cái đấy nó rất là phần hay, rất phần rất là hay của D&D thì mình chưa làm được nhưng mà sẽ, sẽ làm được, sẽ làm được. Ừ. Bạn thấy trong cái game này là cái độ roleplay, cái độ nhập vai thế là ổn với bạn hay là thường thì bạn prefer là hơn thế? À, về cái vấn vấn ấy mạo mình nó không nó đang có okay. vấn đề bạn nói qua cái game vừa rồi cái one shot vừa rồi mình chơi thì bạn nghĩ là cái độ role play của nó đã là đủ như ý bạn muốn chưa hay là thường là bạn muốn hơn thế nữa? Đó ý là của mình thôi tức là à, ok cái cái mà những cái xảy ra thì mình thấy nó rất là thú vị đấy nhưng mà ý là bản thân mình ấy nếu là mình role play mà nó không hay thì cảm giác chơi game nó cũng không hay lắm mọi người có nhận không tức là 
nếu như mà mình nhập vai và nhân vật nhiều hơn mình kiểu như là cũng diễn diện đã thứ cảm giác là chơi game nó sẽ thú vị hơn cái đấy thì là... mình nghĩ là dần dần thôi không nhất thiết phải là ngay nếu mà bạn muốn theo hướng đấy thì bạn hoàn toàn có thể là tự đẩy bản thân mình để nhập vai thêm mỗi lần chơi một cái game như thế này còn um, còn cái game điên đi ấy, không nhất thiết lúc không nhất thiết cái bàn chơi nào cái nhóm chơi nào cũng chú trọng vào nhập vai cả nó có nhiều kiểu chơi có thể chơi nặng combat vẫn được gọi là đến tơn đi vào đây một cái dungeon này đấy mở phòng này rồi combat là initiative bọn này rồi giết xong phòng này chia kinh nghiệm đi phòng tiếp combat in initiative bọn này cũng chơi thế đến cũng cũng là một kiểu chơi được lên thường thì mình quen với kiểu chơi như thế hơn vì ừ. là đấy lại còn cái kiểu role play nó hơi lạ nó hơi mới ừ. lần đầu mình cũng chơi kiểu game kiểu dạng như thế này nên là nó khá là mới ừ nó không sao đấy là vui chung là vui ý mình là, ý mình đang nói nốt cái mạch lúc đấy là khi mà chọn cái bàn chơi ấy, thì bạn có thể hoàn toàn chọn cái bàn chơi theo kiểu chơi mà mình muốn hỏi trước là bọn nó hay chơi kiểu gì Ở ngoài ừ. đời cũng thế trên mạng cũng thế thì nếu mà bạn muốn chơi thêm các game nhập vai nặng nhiều để tự trao rồi cho bản thân thì hoàn toàn có thể tìm các game như vậy để tham gia ok barry right. barry vừa định nói gì nữa yeah. ok vậy nhá thế thiện là off đây chuẩn bị đi ăn trưa à, cảm ơn mọi người okay. nữa đã tham gia okay. game okay. chơi game Cảm ơn mọi okay. người. Cảm ơn. Cảm ơn anh Thị rất là nhiều. Cảm ơn anh Thị rất là nhiều. Cảm ơn anh Thị rất là nhiều.